Obviously, one rise of the Rune Lords. Having descended the spiraling staircase into the dark, seemingly undisturbed, hitherto unknown interior of the mountain, the party quickly found that no matter where they went, fisticuffs were sure to follow. Stepping into a room, the party was accosted by what seemed to be gear-filled automatons bent on keeping them from progressing any further. A pitched battle ensued that allowed the party members to show off their tinkering skills. That is to say, their skills at making things that currently work, not work anymore. After crossing through a room with a quartet of quartet armed gargoyles setting on moving, Tarnin was able to find and disable the trap on a door that opened into a hallway filled with long swatches of Thassalonian runes describing the seven lords of Thassalon and how each was a scion of a particular living virtue. Passing into the vast chamber that followed, Conan saw the quarry that he had been chasing for years and immediately flew into a rage, not wanting to let the Ascended out of his sight again. Today, the adventure continues. complete description of the room and then I will let me we'll start the combat. I like how the ascended's image is broken on the tracker. Well, we're playing. What was that? The ascended's image is broken on the initiative tracker. Yeah, I don't know why I, I tried editing that like twice. We should earlier. spend another 45 minutes <laughs> troubleshooting it. I think we should. We don't need to play it. Good idea. <laughs> All right. All right, so uh, this vast chamber might have once been a lecture hall, but now the place is almost empty of furniture, save for a couple of tables lacking chairs to sit at. Six five-foot-wide pillars, each carved with, a spi with spiraling patterns of runes, rise up to support the hundred-foot-high ceiling. At the west end of the room, um, you see a diocese that raises about five feet off of the floor with a couple of stone steps. An iron-bound chest sits against the far wall of the diocese, open. Standing in front of it, facing away from you, is a figure with a long, flowing robe of deep purple. A matching purple hood over its head. You notice that they are not alone. At equal, interview, at equal intervals along the stairs, you see what, or along the diocese, you see what might almost be described as a hyena. Though larger, with spikes raised out of its white, furred spine, and a tail that is as long as its body, ending in an almost scorpion-like stinger. The creature's skin seems to be almost translucent in places below the white fur, a sickly pale yellow light seeming to emanate from inside. Large, slavering jaws open as they all look directly at you, eyes black. The figure begins to slowly turn until it faces you, the hood covering all of its face except a portion where you can see a white mask, flat and featureless. A low, scratchy voice comes from the figure, and even though Tarnan, even though he's on the other side of this hundred foot long room, it seems as though he's whispering directly in your ear, and even those of you that are not in the room can hear it as though there was somebody standing right next to you. And you just hear, Tarnan, so good to see you again. One of his sleeves is pushed back as he turns, revealing a white gloved hand in which a set of silver scales can be seen. And then, we begin combat. Twang. Which, what was that? Twang. Well, not you. What? Just because you speak I, I think we're going to re-roll initiative. Uh, initiative. 
Pretty sure. Pretty sure we rolled initiative last time. And you are going anything. fifth. I don't remember this, but... Yeah. That's, it actually recorded. <laughs> it's on the recording that's on YouTube. So Icky mm -hmm. is actually going first. Alright. <clears throat> so, um... Icky, uh, I'll uh, run up in front of Tarnan. Pretty much uh, place myself between uh, Tarnan and the Ascended. Alright, hold on just a second. So, uh, you, hold, I, you, sorry, hold on just a second. And you, you, you did say that, like, you know, like, since it's been so long, you can, like, kind of remind folks. Yeah, you guys, if you want to talk for a so, minute before you actually So, act. like, look, just to, we didn't really, like, back when Icky revealed his dream about the Ascended, uh, at the, uh, in, at the common room of the Rusty Dragon, um, Tarnan actually, uh, brought up the notion of, like, okay, like, so we know that we have to go take this guy out, but what if we try to convince him, once we get there, that Icky is like, look... I'm with you, but you think these guys are just going to not come with? And we try to, like, make him believe that Icky, at least, is coming over to his side um, to perhaps get the jump on him. So, if nothing else, want to remind folks of that conversation, because we had said that we were going to talk about it in great on the ride out to the islands, but then we didn't. Which, you know, but perhaps remembering that we talked about talking about it would do some of us well in the coming minutes. 35 feet. It can go, it can go so much further than that. I know, but you said you wanted to go right in. How do you want to go further in front of me? Uh, no, no, I want to be right in, right in Tarnan's face. All right. Um, so I assume that interacting with Tarnan beyond, you know, or interacting with the room at all beyond a few quick short words, uh, it constitutes my action, yeah? Since we're um, combat. yes. Uh, anybody on their turn can, like, free action say a few things. Sorry. Um, but, yeah, you wouldn't be able to have a long conversation, you wouldn't be able to put a puzzle together. Mm -hmm. So, a few... Quick things, if you're curious, just ask, and I'll tell you whether it would be a free action or whether you would start dipping into, like, bonus action and full action. Mm -hmm. Okay, because, um, so basically, like, Icky would just kind of, like, get out in front of Tarnan. If, if Tarnan had gotten as far as, like, you know, bringing out his, like, cross, uh, crossbow, mm -hmm. um, maybe we'd talk about rolling to have Icky try to, like, smack it out of the way. But the my intent, Icky's, all right, so let me just tell you what I would like to do here, and you can tell me what I need to do to make it happen, if I can. Okay. Um, basically, I want to get up in front of the Ascend and just be like, you know, like, hi. Like, so like, we're like, you know, like, so we get to finally meet face to face. Um, I know you told me to not bring these guys, but <laughs> you know them. They're persistent. And basically want to just try to... If you want to use your action to engage in a conversation, mm -hmm. yeah, that, battle okay. wouldn't stop. Like, that would be your turn. Right, yeah, I'm fine. And I'm, then it would continue down the line, mm -hmm. and it would just... Yeah, uh, I would have the Ascended react at some point, either mm -hmm. snippets during yeah. that or okay. on his turn. No, but well, yeah, you can take your action to yeah. converse. Yeah, so that's what Icky will do. Icky will <clears throat> basically be like, look, we, you know we had to come here. I'm, uh, but I, I think that, I think that you have <clears throat> the right of it. The power that you answer to is the way. And, uh, and I think that this power, uh, is what needs to be, um, or it's like, I, I, I want to follow this power. I want to, uh. Um, I want to see this power through to its to its end, and at that point, like Icky, kind of like scratches his neck, pulls out a little red feather, looks at Tarnan, just kind of like flicks it off. If you'll remember at the end of our last battle, mm -hmm. 
Tarnum received a red feather from Icky. And that will be Icky's turn. All right. All right, in that case, um, Grelda, it will be your turn. I'm trying to decide if I want to, in character, have Grelda remember the conversation, and I think I will. <laughs> because the hilarity of her being weirdly upset with Icky is not worth the extra time. Um, I don't know where I am. I can't see me in the icon bundle yeah. there. Are you after home? after all this, of course, my computer is now just fucking putzing. That's why I had you stop earlier. I was trying to figure out why it's um, being set. There you go. Hold on. There you go. For some reason, it had you right on top of Gendrick. Oh, okay. All right. Ooh, that's slightly different. Let me do some count here. Is are I mean oh, is, so, are the relative sizes of Gendrick's droid and, um, well, any of our other party members such that they could use him as a mount? <laughs> because I need this for my head cannon. Use him as a mount? No. Because okay. he would be, it would be a... Smaller, tiny. Yeah, okay. smaller, tiny. Okay. It would okay. be like, small. <laughs> yeah, small. So I would... It would be smaller than guys and Grover. Okay. I would, I would just love to see either of them ride your fire-breathing droid into battle, but... So as, my dreams are crushed. as Icky is speaking, again, this is a like a hundred foot long room, but you can kind of see from the other end, holding the scales in one hand, he kind of reached the ascended, you see a gloved arm reach behind and come out with just like a, just a small, sorry, my computer just like, yeah, I noticed. fucking fucked up. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's all gone. Wow. <sighs> Anyway, just a small scepter, about 18 inches, just uh, goldenrod the whole way through and just kind of holds it in his hand and starts twirling his fingers as you were talking. Mm -hmm. All right, so Tammy, I moved you uh, right next to Tarnan, and you said you're holding your action for if anybody gets in melee range. Up one more, if you would, please. One more? Okay. Yes. So she can intentionally trip me if I try to walk forward. I didn't say it. No, you didn't say it. <laughs> you didn't say it. it. It's more of a silent, if you want him, you're going to have to go through me kind of thing. Which goes both ways, though, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, this is accurate. How did you get the stream back? I don't see the stream anymore. You probably I need to do. Hit, click watch. I'm leaving and coming back to the session. Do I need to... Uh, well, Lars, no, you're, you're good. Um, I think Lars just needed to click watch stream again, but yeah, decided good. to leave instead. <laughs> well, you know, being thorough. Yeah. 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 Uh-oh, it's gone on the TV. Yeah. Okay, it's back. I'm just going to give you a play-by-play -play of everything that's happening technologically. Good. Lars is back. He's back. He's, he's looking around, like he might be looking for something. But but he looks like he, he, he either can't hear yet, or he's not amused with my shenanigans. I mean, it's not uh -huh. he's, he's amused by my shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got it back. All right, I'm good. <laughs> hey, what's the name right. of that place with all that stuff on the walls? What's it again? You mean shenanigans? shenanigans? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it is the Ascendant's turn. No, that's not funny. I don't want to spin the character around. I want to zoom out, but that works. You spin. Sorry, oh, didn't uh, didn't Tarlin fire uh, a bolt? Instead of zooming out. At him. There we go. Alright, so the ascended. Can, can you guys see me? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. 
D didn't turn and fire a bolt at the Ascended before the battle started? No, we apparently no. retconned that whole thing. <laughs> no, we didn't retcon that. That's not how that's not how combat in D and D works. Oh, okay. Whoever who he who speaks first does not act first. That's what initiative is for. Because surprise rounds don't exist. Well, considering you were staring at him and he was staring at you, nobody was surprised. The original description was his back is to you, and I said I fired, and that's where you got upset. He was aware of you. Okay. A werewolf? Yes. Werewolf? He's a werewolf? <laughs> you had Ken. Well, you guys, I mean, you guys did fight a pitched battle with mechanical beings. But that was like four, four doors down. Door? Four doors down. One door down. No, because there's two one door, down. two doors, three, doors, three down. doors. There was another door. Ah! Uh... <laughs> red, one door, two door, red, blue. Red, 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 red door, blue door. All right, so the Ascended, he um, takes... Um, the the piece of uh, goldish metal he has in his hand and kind of spins it around in his fingers and just looks at Icky and says if you are on my side then I'll give you this when we're done your village will thank you does Icky recognize the scepter? no and um, actually I'm sorry could you repeat that? I couldn't hear any of it for some reason Okay. Um, the, the Ascended, uh, he twirled the small scepter in his fingers and said, If you are on my side, I will give you this when we're done. Your village will appreciate it. Or thank you. Your village will thank you. Thank you. And... With his action... No? Okay, good. He is going to raise his hand, and you see eight small balls of pulsing red flame pop out of his palm one at a time and start to orbit around him. And that will be his turn. Then, Gendrick, you're up. All right. Um, so, I think I hear something going on in the room, but being really unsure about what's really going on there, I think I'm probably just going to move move in uh, maybe 10 feet to the... I don't really know the cardinal directions, but heading into the room... Um, I would say north. Since the map's upside down, north is towards you guys. South, west. East. Okay, so yeah, I'm probably just going to maybe uh, put myself 10 feet to the east of Grelda and um, just kind of hang out there. How much movement do you have? Oh, it's probably 30. Sorry, I, I can't really see the scale. Oh, uh, it's yeah, it's 30 feet. 30 feet? Okay, right, that would put you directly behind her then. Okay, yeah, let's do that. And if I could move um, uh, the Eldritch Cannon in, uh, maybe... Which has... I don't remember the movement on that thing. I want to well, say it was 30. Yeah, I just put it behind me. And prepping, for me, just prep a cantric... Cantric. I like that word. Let's, <laughs> let's use your version from now on. <laughs> cantric magic attack, uh, in case anything comes within range. Uh, is, what spell? You oh, need to pick the spell. That's interesting. So it's yeah. going to be Firebolt, which has 120 foot range. Okay. So, <laughs> things are already in range. <laughs> yeah. So if you'd probably you can probably oh, yeah. find like you could it hit anybody within, like I, I'll say feet within sixty third. feet. Like if something is looking menacing and moving within sixty feet of the group, I'll ready that attack at that point. Okay. Like whatever yeah. these spooky looking skeleton or scorpion things are. Spooky scary skeletons. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm David Pumpkins. That's exactly what my mind just went to. <laughs> you ruined me, Nate. I would, like I said, that made my that quest giver NPC for my one shot was uh, was Devon Kerbis. <laughs> David Pumpkins. All right. Now at the end of Gendrick's turn. 
Um, the Ascended is going to use his legendary action, snap his fingers, and all of a sudden you see his form split into two and then split again until there are there seem to be four copies of him standing near each other and they all move exactly the same you see the and anytime like anything like when the robe swishes they're all exact mirror copies of each other a total of four of them? a total of four yes okay. then turn it it is your turn Feels like this whole tricking him thing is not going to go anywhere. Mm, He fires. I mean, he's got bad guys. He's his arch enemy. He's like, when we're finished here, he's already making threats against the village. He's a purple old bitch. And he's got to be the one on the left because that bitch is always leaving and he left already. So I shoot the one on the left. Well. Okay, fine. I know what spell it is. Never mind. I shoot at him, and yes. randomly is determined which right, one I actually so hit. so that is... Twang, twang, twang. 70 feet. No problem. Yep. Okay, I'm turning that off. <laughs> no, it's just, it's... For what, I don't know if... I think it's Discord. My computer is just taking a shit. So anything that is sapping extra is not going to do it. All right, then. So hold on, let me, let me, uh, he's 70 feet away. Yes. I don't get advantage. I don't get surprise. Um, so I'm not moving, which means I can use my bonus action to take steady aim. Okay. Which gives me advantage, and then I will fire. All right. Oh, um, with, uh, oh my God, what is it called? It's like I haven't done this in a month. You know, the thing where I get the bonuses and the plus five, or minus five to hit, plus Shop five. Shooter. Hey! It's like you played this before. <laughs> yeah, sharpshooter. All right. I've had someone here play this before. No cut, no, no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> Fucking son of a bitch. Uh, 10 plus nine is 19, minus five is 14. Hit him. 14? No, actually... So you raise your hand crossbow, you kind of lean out to the side to shoot around Icky, and it flies true, and it comes right at his chest, and then just hits, and you can tell it stops before where his chest is, and just kind of falls to the ground. Smile and fire again. So what I'm hearing is... Same thing. We have three of these. But I already have advantage. Is it really going to help? Oh, Does Is that is do. that for... Which one is that, and is that just for your, uh, like, a sp specific attack, or is it steadying? There we go. On your next attack roll on your current turn. So, you only get it once. That was your next attack roll, not attack action. Got it. So you don't have advantage now. On the next two attacks, you do not have advantage. Inherently. No, I only get one extra attack. Because oh, because you use your bonus action, you're right. So you would not get advantage on this inherently. I mean, fuck it. Yes, I'll use it. Thanks, Nate. You're welcome. Okay. Twist my arm. Uh, 17 plus 9 is 28. Or, I'm sorry, 26. Minus 5 is 20. Math, 1. 21? No, it's 20 math, 1. 20 math, 1? Yep. Very different number. Mm -hmm. Totally different number. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Carries more weight. Yes. 
There's more syllables in it. <laughs> All right. Each time a creature attacks you with an action, roll a d20. Targets you or one of your duplicates. Uh, duplicates. So dun, dun, dun. I need to roll it, and I have to roll a six or higher. Uh, I like to roll it. Roll it. I like to roll, roll it. Roll it. it. That's a twenty. All right. So you do shoot, and it. You actually aim for the head, and it flies, and it goes right through. And the vision of the Ascended that was there kind of just wavers, then dissipates, and your bolt goes through and just hits the wall, the dice wall, and then falls onto the dice behind him. Okay. This and the broadcast that duplicate went away. What was that? So that duplicate went away. Yes, so there's only three of them now. Okay. Okay. All right, then. Uh, quick question, Sean. Yes. The eight balls of light, are they around each of them? Yes. They're all, all of, yes, each, each copy is exactly the same, and they move. Everything they do is exactly the same. Okay. Every step they take. Every move they make. <laughs> Y'all are terrible. <laughs> all right, Sanishi. Oh, I love us. Me too. <laughs> uh, well, I'd love it if my computer would take me. I, I'm mildly baffled at the lack of people attacking because I might not remember that conversation in any way, shape, or form. Uh, but, like a good soldier, Aww. I'm going to follow along. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I encourage you to try to get in range of attacking any of them, but, you know. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of far. Waterboy's mama. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll, I mean, like, I'll, I'll join the group in moving towards things. Moving towards things? Alright, well, where would you like to go in your moving towards things? I have, oh, whoop, I have 40 feet. I must have done something to get me more I have two. speed. That's exciting. So... A needle pulling thread. I mean, I kind of want to be able to hit people, so I just out of the room. 10, 15, 20, 25, I'll put you there. Um, We're always going to group hug Tarnan. <laughs> <laughs> Let go of your hate, Tarnan! Let go! No! <laughs> uh, I want to go one forward because the dudes are all over there okay actually go more forward than that than the... 35 it's not for it's her not anymore forward. it's for this village it's for the people it's for all the innocents why do i glow because it's your turn oh, it's my... oh fancy yeah you you missed uh, all the fancy i missed so much fancy i sorry i felt like shit last week um <laughs> yeah and don't you ever do it again i am going mm -hmm. to if something comes Wait, let me fucking see here. What do I have? Because I've got... Uh... We'll see if it affects. No, it absolutely did not catch the flame. Now it's out of his. Yes, the FPS is finally holding, so we'll see if it'll hold when the music's playing. Sixty feet. Am I sixty feet away from somebody? That okay. is sixty-five. Mm. Oh, oh my goodness! I'm moving. There we go. That's fifty. Oh, really? How is that? Okay. Cool. Uh, in that case, on that guy, I will uh, cast some uh, dissonant whispers. Ooh. Okay. At a level one. This one. All right. So, what does that entail? Uh, it entails the song that never ends, and only don't, that guy can don't. hear I, it. I, I, I nobody. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> nobody. I'm trying not to. Nobody. <laughs> but it's it's playing. It All right. So a what? Wisdom saving throw. That's wisdom. Oh head. yeah. All right. So. It just goes. Up. And what do I? That's sixteen. On. Uh, saves thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Shark. So it saves. Fuck. Um. 
On a successful save, the target takes half as much damage and doesn't have to move away. Alright, so it'll still roll the damage, and it'll take half as much damage. That's right. Eight! So eight damage? Alright. Alright, so the... The creature just shivers. You can see all of its muscles contract, and its its tail, which is, again, is the length of its body, if not longer, just kind of whips back and forth, and it turns its head and looks at Sneeshy. Um, and that was an attack, so I can't really prep much of anything. Yeah. Why did a giant one just appear behind us? <laughs> oh, that's the preview. Oh, good. I think we're still there. I couldn't see it. <laughs> or that's the mammoth skeleton. All right, so if you are done, I'm done, then it's the it's the creatures too. He might not be able, able to fit through that hallway. I was that's what, that was my sincere hope, Lars. If it's real, we're not going back out that way. <laughs> ah, let's see. All right, so there's speed. 40 feet. I, I think Grelda would throw a muffin at it, just so you know, Tarn. It's a good reaction to, uh, to the unknown. Just throw a muffin at it. Just throw a muffin. It's worked right. super well in the past. It has. It's okay, so true. All right, so the Shisuva makes two attacks. One is a bite, in which we'll try and bite Sunishi. What is your armor class? Is it, it 25? Oh, I'm thinking yeah, that's it. Yep, that's a hit. All right. So it does 26 piercing damage to you. Good God. And then its second attack, its tail actually whips out, and its tail stinger has a reach of 15 feet. So it's standing next to you, and it is a melee attack, so it doesn't. It still gets advantage. It doesn't. It does not impose disadvantage like a range attack would be. And its tail actually shoots out and goes after Icky. If, if you, and that is eighteen. Oh, I guess this is armor is. class eight or nineteen. I guess. I guess you're not on this. Index. So it like I'm as it, it, it bites. You. What was that? I was just saying, I don't think the Ascended believes you, Icky. Yeah, Icky is affronted. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, it takes the, the Shisuba re- leaps forward, takes a bite out of Sunishi's shoulder, and like blood starts pouring down. And as soon as it pulls back, it without even looking, his tail just shoots out at Icky. But Icky, being the drunken master he is, he puts one of his, one of his uh, feet forward, and almost slips, does like the Jackie Chan whoops, and then it goes right over your right shoulder where you would have been if you would not have slipped. Then... Watch that movie again. Can I use my prepped attack to... Oh yeah, that is within... Yep. Yeah, that's a good one. So yes, you can. So I'm going to roll for that prepped fire bolt. Okay. And it got a 19. That does hit. Four... Those dice are really rolling. 13 points of damage. Okay. Of fire, I believe? Uh, yes, fire. Okay. All right. Then... of the bite, but it is going to do the its tail stinger attack at Sunishi. That is 11. It's going to miss. So it stops. Its tail shoots out, and it actually like just hits your armor and just like scrapes across. 
All right, then. Last one. There we go. And it's going to do its tail attack at Grelda. I feel like Grelda should have advantage due to her height. Hmm. Grelda uh, bites it off. 22. <laughs> yeah, it's a 19. All right. In that case, I need you to give me a constitution saving throw. Oh, dang. <laughs> All right. I have proficiency. What does that mean? Do, do I get... Um, that would already be included in... Okay. So, so yeah, roll just... just flat. Yeah, just roll your... Yeah, just a constitution saving throw. 20. 20? Okay. Um, so, you do take 13 piercing damage as the stinger pierces your shoulder. And you feel a bit of burning as poison begins to spread into your shoulder, but then you just like, just shake your head and be like, not today. Shake it off. And it shake just it like, just kind of <laughs> dissipates and the, the, the burning sensation stops. This is very with the Zelda's character. Shake it off. Yeah, totally. Just All right, then, Geisen, you are up. How's it going, Peter? Move forward um, next to the, the abomination machine. <laughs> abomination machine. At least we got something. All right. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. All right. Um, and then. I'm sure there'll be a collective gasp from the group. I'm going to cast Animate Objects on my nails. <gasps> All right, roll a d20 for me. Whoops. I was expecting Fireball, I'm not going to lie. Me, me too, but... Well, re remember we've had to roll funny things for whenever we use magic in here. Nine. Nine? Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> yeah, when, whenever... It, since we entered this underground space, like, before we even started fighting the automatons, whenever somebody has done anything magical, Sean has made, made us... Roll. Yes, when, when um, everybody except Icky and Grelda, when you entered this underground area, just felt something off okay. with their arcana. Like just, the, just their innate magic just felt something weird. And yeah, every, I've made everybody roll. Nothing's happened, but I've made everybody roll. Yeah, make me roll. Nothing's happened that we make know you of. Roll. Yes. No, that's why I'm like, this oh, is so news no. to me yeah. on all Cause, levels. Because for one, no, I wasn't here last session, and two, I don't think Sunishi did anything magical, ba magically based last. Session. Not last session, not no. last time. But all I right, just well, whispered it's, this. It's I too distracted late. the DM. It's too DM late now, with the but yes, song. I did not make. You I roll. basically dissonate whispers our DM and won. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Lars, your your uh, your Roger Rabbit bullets are are hanging out next to you. Yep, so I guess that I'm going to have them attack the, the nearest one. Alright, this one? Yes. Okay, go ahead and yeah, just roll them all. That's some interesting sound effects. That is the, uh... The... Force fields coming down? <laughs> I mean... No, like the curtain. Repulsal field. The curtain, yes. Yeah. Oh. Well, it is for, uh... Audio for or visual. Does 20 hit? Uh, yes. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Modified or unmodified? Guessing 13 does not hit. 13 does not. And one of them rolled a 1. Does that cause anything for these guys? 
Um. You know what? Yes. Roll a uh, d20 for that one. Look what you've done, Lars. Look what you've done. 14. Okay, it just misses and skitters against the ground. And then bury itself in Grella's shoulder. That's a relief. <laughs> it goes, turns around, and comes right back in your face. Right, so seven of them hit. Okay. It's the it's the one from Roger Rabbit that pulls out that giant axe, the Comanche one. Ah, yeah. And just buries it in his forehead and guys and dies. Oh, wait. Just like that. <laughs> Ceremonies. I was fine with it up until that last part. It was a beautiful funeral. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what really matters, I guess. He would have wanted it this way? It's not like that. It wasn't fire. True. <laughs> I guess Tarnan didn't preside then, did he? <laughs> 48. 48 damage. Whoop, good, whoop. good lord. So you said it was seven of them? Yep. yep. Alright, so yes. They, uh... As you send them forward, considering where you are, they kind of zigzag and swerve like between people's legs and around their shoulders and under their arms and just kind of do loop-de-loops and just manage to bury themselves in. And as they go into the creature, you can actually see that uh, that like sickly yellow light begin to uh, radiate a little brighter as they seem to pierce its skin and the, the white fur around it kind of peels back a little bit. Oh, that seems bad. That's in bad. That's in bad. That's in bad. Mm-hmm. Alright, would you like to do anything else, good sir? Um, now that Geisen's actually in here, the, does the the spell, either the balls that are going around him or the duplicates, do those spells seem familiar to Geisen? Um, give me. Arcana? Ah, but you did your action. Give me an Arcana check. And if you get it, I will tell you one. Like, guys, might recognize one. He wouldn't recognize both. So I'm going to say that's your bonus section. Twenty-five. Twenty-five? Okay, I'll actually... Yeah, I'll give you the other one. It is called... Melf's Minute Meteors. Minute or minute? Minute. Minute. I'm going to say minute. (laughs) Nope. I'm saying minute meteors. Maybe they only last 60 seconds. Oh, well, in that case, all we got to do is... Dodge! No, they're actually concentration. Wait, minute meters or minute meteors? Minute meters. No. Okay, so I'm like, wait a second. No, it is. It is minute meteors, but I like minute meteors better, so we're going to do minute meteors. And besides, I don't think we've gone through a fight that's lasted an entire minute. No, you have not done ten rounds. Not even fighting the damn dragon. Oh, yeah. We killed the dragon. Do you want me to tell you what that does, or do you want to look it up? I can look it up. Okay. All right, then, uh... Hold on, let me... Don't expect non-lazy players to become a trend. Uh, Okay. Then, uh, the, um... As, um, Geisen's turn ends and Icky's turn begins... Um, the Ascended actually, he is still standing next to the silver, um, the silver chest. So he actually reaches in there with one hand and you see him just, you can't see what he's doing, but his hand kind of disappears in it. And then everybody hears a, a sound of stone scraping behind what's where scra- you had come from. Oh no. Of what scraping? Stone scraping against stone oh, okay. back in the direction you had come from. Um, question for the DM. Yes. I'm gonna make you big so I can watch your face when I ask this. All of the clones of him, are they reaching down into nothing? Like, do we now know which one is him because it's the one next to the chest? I'm going to say, 
because of the way the spell works. As he reaches down into the chest, they all collapse into one. And then as soon as he pulls his hand out, they go back into three. Okay. Because you can't actually gain any advantage in the way the spell works. So I'm trying to think of how to work that. And that's how I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'll do. No, no, I don't want to. It's totally acceptable. I trust you. I don't want to. You can't make me. You got you, you look at him, but just, it's a piece of dust in your eye and you just can't get... Focus. Focus. That's what it is. There's not actually three of them. Everybody's got dust in their eyes and everything's a little blurry. <laughs> He casts the, like, the stigmatism spell. <laughs> I think this technically would give Nate advantage on everything because of the drunken master abilities. Suddenly his eyes are clearer than they've ever been I, before. Yeah. So, see, and that's what's throwing them off. They, they cleared uh, up. Uh, you give a drunkard that 20 How can I hit the one in the middle if there's one. only one? All right, then, Icky, it is your turn. Uh, Icky's turn and Grelda's next. Um. So, it, like, it, like, it, like, since he was like just mere seconds ago attacked by uh, one of uh, one of the Ascendant's minions, um, he just uh, looks so affronted. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, I'm I'm still doing some calculus. Um, An affronted Aarakocra would be very affronted indeed. I can imagine yeah, the feathers. Yeah. <laughs> feathers fluffed up. Yeah, I was just everything. about to say that. It's been just... <laughs> Icky, Icky, Icky appears to double in size. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, can do what you can do um, th- is, uh, is, 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 do like can I, can I do like what you say is like oh the I get you just kind of like like you know, like spreads his wings back a bit kind of like gesturing to like you know like to everybody you know around behind him and just like this power will break you <laughs> and then he just r- runs uh runs at the uh the, the closest, the, the 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 one that hit him, uh, so I guess stand right next to uh, Sinishi. Okay. Um. And just claw the shit out of that one that attacked him. All right. And then as you say that, everybody hears like a low, just gruff laugh in your ear. All right. So go ahead. Right. Uh. That's a pretty big claw. Oh wow! Oh, wow. That does it. Yeah. Right. Man. Uh, claw number one. Oh, it was so close to being more than that, but six damage on the first claw. All right, and go ahead and do your second claw. Second claw is substantially less good. Uh, it's only a fourteen. So it probably misses on. Ah. Fourteen hits. Oh wow! All right, cool. Will we get better damage? Not by much. Seven damage. There. Are your? Did you get the ability where your talons are magic weapons? Um. Th- yes. Yes. Um. It's oh, because we we talked about this. I, that's what session. I. I just wanted to verify. Yes, we. I, I can't remember what it's called, but there is. I know. I know that's a monk thing. I thought you got it. Um. Yeah. Yeah. No, okay. It's, um. Shit, I'm looking for it. Oh, that's fine. All right, so it was 14. Was the second one? Uh, yes. All right. Yeah, it was 14 to hit seven damage, so a total of 13 damage. Oh, okay. Uh, but that's before you factor in any uh, magic strike stuff. Actually, it. Or maybe it's not. It know. doesn't give you extra. Okay. Uh, no, that's fine. You go ahead. I, I believe you. I know, but I want. I, cool. Right. I'm glad you do. <laughs> so as you as you walk up, you're like, you're just kind of doing the uh, the boxer thing where you just your arms are going out and your wings are kind of flapping. And you just go up and real quick, just one after the other, you rip into the same spot of the creature, 
and just like you tear open a little bit and then as your second claw comes out it just tears it open even more and again there's just like sickly yellow light pale yellow light it's dim but it's there's something it just it makes you uneasy I have a pretty good idea of where it is um, but that you know Icky doesn't I do though um, so I'm so you can do your second one I'll, I'll look for it okay yeah I am gonna use a because uh, I, I assume it just the lights growing a bit but otherwise it doesn't look too much you don't you don't notice anything different all right cool I'm gonna go ahead and find my key to use one confirm and next attack claw go there you go keep key empowered strikes your unarmed yeah. strikes count as magical for the purposes of overcoming resistance cool 21 hits yep cool um Hey, that's much better. 12 Ooh, damage on that hit. Alright, then go ahead. Oof. 12? 12 does not. Even with my special, special magic. Even with my special, special, special magic. So then, emboldened, you come down hard with a closed fist right on top of its head and its jaws, like, clamp together. And as it, like, as it does that, you try and come up with your second one, but its tail actually shoots out and... The side of it, the side of its tail, like smacks your claw to the side, so it misses. Um. I will then uh, take advantage of, I believe it's tipsy sway. I mean, basically, I after I you disengage, right? Yeah, I can disengage for yeah for freezies. I'll just for freezies. One one space, kind of like. You're just taking a step yeah, back, so you're still in melee range of the other one. Yes. Okay, just make sure. Yep, just taking myself out of a range of both. Um, and then, you know, like just do do the evil monkey from Family Guy point <laughs> the, uh, at the Ascended. And uh, and that'll be my turn. Alright, so as as you do the evil point at the Ascended, it's, uh, he spins the piece of metal in his hand and you just hear softly in your ear, you did this. And then puts it back in his pocket. Then, Grelda, you're up. I cannot see the Ascendants at the, what looks like north to me, edge. Oh, it's because um, he's under this thing. We just got to kill a few things first. Could moved slightly? There you go. Ah, no. I did it again. There we go. He's up here. I see one Ascended. I assume I should see three. Well... In 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 the story, you see three. I'm not gonna put three tokens up there. They all it's... occupy the same space. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. Yeah. Right, They're I like just think of them like right next to each other. So when Tarnan was shooting at him, he had to pick one to aim at. I prefer to picture them in like a pyramid, doing some cheerleading stuff. Like a cheerleading pyramid. Yes. <laughs> they can get some good basket tosses then. Cheerman. Cheerman. Now, now that I'm looking up there, what are those uh, those things at the end of the initiative track? I don't know. What could they be? They look like they might be the gargoyles we didn't kill before. No, I don't know. They're probably we'll have, to, have to wait till the end of the round probably. and then see what happens. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the stone scraping that we all heard earlier was nothing. We should just ignore that. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It was uh, the cleanup crew trying to clean up after your last battle. That's fair. That's fair. Bless little, them. Uh, they little, have little, job. Fairy, little fairies with uh, brushes. Nice. nice. Toothbrushes, I imagine them. Each stone. One at a time. All right, what do you, what do you got, Gorilla? Um... I... Oh, she really wants to help with the Ascended, but there are three of these dog things, and that's not great. So, I'm going to go up and so that I am, uh, like, basically making a little triangle with the two on the right side. Uh, up to here? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I was trying, because if I fly into a rage, I could potentially make it close enough to throw some hand axes at some of the fake ascendants to see which one is which. But um, I think that's a little too much strategy for Grelda. Um, and <laughs> since you are in melee range, if you do a ranged attack 
against a different creature, you have disadvantage on that attack. Oh no, I would have gone. A oh, you okay? I, go I get you. I get you. Yep. But I do get uh, free advantage on this one because of Icky's position. Correct. Yes, that is correct. Then I'm going to fly into a rage. I am not going to attack recklessly because I don't need to. And I am going to do Great Weapon Master Attack against that one. Oh, okay. Uh, which one are you attacking? I'm sorry. Uh, the one between me and Icky that I have. That's okay. Yeah. That is. That is. Yeah, that's the one Icky damaged. Okay. Oh, is it? I thought Icky damaged the one above Sneeshy. Oh no, you are correct. He did. Okay. Ready for the roll? I am. Okay, I am rolling with advantage. Oof, that is not great. Damn, that does that's, hit, that's though. Hit. Say what? That 19 does hit. Uh, oh. No, it's a minus 5 because I did great weapon. That's 14, that and that hits. just hits. Oh, we are very lucky today. Okay. Squish. Um, Don't worry, so every that. scorpion. I'm only squishing your head. Squish, squish. All right, um... Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, my. All right. So 18 Sasha. plus 6 plus 10 plus 3. No, 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 wait. No, sorry, sorry. 18 plus 10 plus 3. 28, 30, 31. 31? Good lord. All right. All right. Go ahead and do your second attack. <laughs> uh, second verse, same as first. <laughs> that was Tammy that doing was Tammy. damage. Yeah. It was terrifying. <laughs> it was wonderful. Was that I don't know if you heard that. Yeah, I think it was. Uh, Libby thinks your laugh was terrifying. <laughs> it was great. It was great. I love it. All right, it. so. Uh, I, need to, I need to pull that out and edit that together. I need to edit the laugh and then Libby's, that was terrifying. Like right after it. I just have that as like a. If you want. I, yeah, so I need that on the, I need that on the soundboard. That was terrifying. If you want the timestamp, it was about one minute, five, or, or one hour, five minutes. I was going to say, if we've only been playing one minute, this drink is stronger than I thought. <laughs> I'll have what she's having. So, he, 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 that was terrifying. Episode title? Session title? Sure. Yeah. I'm game. There you go. So far, unless something better comes up. Yeah, so far that sounds pretty good, though, and uh, accurate as well. Also, title of your sex tape. For ah, sure. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so 22 minus 5 hits. That hits. <laughs> oh, this is less exciting, so 17... 20. Oh. You know, we do have two inspiration cards left, just putting that out there. Do we have um, that is for the attack she hit on both. Yeah, I already have advantage. Yeah. I know, I'm just, just putting it out there. Put it out there. Right, yeah, you got you got five. You got five cards there. Do we have the one that gives us the... Uh, Alright, so, as a... Uh, Grelda, you, you walk up and you kind of, like I said, you pyramid yourself between the two. You just turn to the one that's focused on Icky, and you come down with Sasha, and right to the side of its tail, you cut deep into it. And then you bring Sasha back up and cut on the other side of its tail. So you can see its tail is moving and it still has control of it, but you've kind of cut it away from the body. So there's only like a, just a sliver connecting the tail to the rest of the body and its its uh, flanks have actually kind of peeled away from the rest of its body a little bit from where Sasha cut it. Surgical precision. Yes. That is what Grelda is known for. <laughs> yes. And that concludes my turn. All right. In that case, is the Ascended turn. All right. So... First, first everybody um, hears just that, that soft voice again, and you just hear, My lord wants to thank you for all of the creatures of his that you've killed. You might have delayed him, but every creature with a sahedron you have sent to the afterlife has aided him, so he gives you his thanks. And then two of the uh, two of the red balls that are that have been orbiting him fly out. How... Does 
double check on how far things go. There we go. Um. Oh, that's everybody. Um. It will actually one at Grelda and one at Targan. Tarnand. Targan. Tarnand. Target. 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 Tarnand, because it's 120 feet. Alright. Target the Tarnin. Target the Tarnin. Mm-hmm. Um, and... Okay, Grelda 22 and Tarnin 23. Is this uh, an attack that It I is a ranged see? attack. Okay. Uh, hold on, I'm sorry. Let me double check. So, streaking towards... I will say it is. I will say it's a ranged attack, yeah. As long as it's an attack. It is an. Uh, yeah, I'll say it's an attack. My new meteor spells. What was that? Are there two different Melf's minute meteor spells? Uh, Melf's minute meteors, no. I thought they were minute meteors. Minute meteors. Yeah. Is it, the one I'm looking at is a saving throw. Um. Meteor research destination. Meteor research destination impacts against a solid service. Oh shit! You're right. Thank you, Lars. Oh, Lars. Thank you, Lars. I know some oh, spells are like a range, but then they have a second. No, you're right. All right, so then I need each creature within five feet. Um, well, in that case, I need Icky and Sanishi to make um, dexterity saving throws, and then I need Tarnan, Geisen, and Gendrick to all make dexterity saving throws. Because it's all creatures... Of... What was that? I don't have to? No, because no, it's uh, within... All creatures within five feet of where the meteors oh. explode. So it exploded oh. at Icky's feet, and it exploded at Tarnan's feet. So everybody within five feet of those explosions need dexterity saving throws from but you're but you're excluding Geisen since he pointed this out, right? <laughs> well, we'll see what you roll. So, Sean, um, yes, I did not take the damage that you said because I need to have it. I can't remember what number you said though. From from what what from what, what damage? damage? The meteor that hit me. It hasn't. No, the meteor. You you are the only one that doesn't have to make a saving throw. Uh, no, the first one, the fir the initial hit. No, it was at uh, it. Did I say Grelda or Icky? I'm sorry. I thought you said Icky or Tammy, me and uh, Tarnan. Okay, then I'm sorry. You two don't need to make a saving throw because I'll stay. I'll stick with what I originally said. Yeah. What so so yeah. yes, Tammy makes a saving throw, and then the three of you make a saving throw. Yeah. Roll the twenty-seven. Okay, but I still don't. Don't I need the initial damage, or it's just a saving throw? You do the saving throw, and that determines what the damage is. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. That so I need dexterity sense. saving throw, right? Uh, yes, a dexterity saving sorry. throw. Thank you. I'm I'm very sorry for. No, that. thank thank you. This is the first time I've used the spell. Got to get used to it. Okay. All right. Uh, I would like you not to get used to it. All right, Tammy. What'd you get? Nineteen. That saves. 13. That does not save. 11. That does not save. Geisen? 15. That does not save. No, oh, I didn't have to roll. All right. No. Not you two. I rolled an 18, actually, so I have a smile. So both of you rolled well, and it's wasted. I know, right? Like all right. So um, the three of you, uh, Tarnan, Gendrick, and Geisen, all take nine fire damage. Uncanny dodge. Fire resistance. It's an attack I can see. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll say that. Don't give us so it halves it. <laughs> right. So you get so four. You have fire resistance. Yeah. So that's four. Tammy, you take four. So I also have fire resistance for my robe. So does that? I get four. Oh yeah. Oh, you take four. Yeah. So everybody what did takes. You say? Everybody takes four. Everybody takes four fire damage. That's way better than two people taking twenty fire damage. By the way. Yes. It is. All right, so then there are only six left around him, so that was his bonus action. Then, you know Does what? Does he have like a, a special boss version? Because the, the spell says six. 
Um, if you do it at a higher, the spell says if you do it at a higher level, it increases oh, by okay. two for each spell slot above. And you did say it was like a legendary action or something. Um, he used a legendary action to cast the spell. Um, so... Should I? Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> Alright, so... The Ascended just raises his hand and puts his palm out towards all of you. And... Three different points... Within a 20 foot radius. Alright, I gotta create a couple of 20 foot radiuses here. Radii. 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 What the heck was that? Come that? on! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, where's it gonna go with that uh, one? I swear, if you make that noise again. I live with that noise. <laughs> You make that noise all the time. All the time. All the time. Yep, we just kind of sit around at home and go, Radio! <laughs> How are you? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. No I other... hope your day was good. <laughs> Sorry, now I'm trying to move my map, which is being a pain in my ears. Shocking. Uh, this sounds like the sort of thing that would make the Ascended just die instantly. He simply forgot to breathe for too long. Dang, I hate it when that happens. Kanishi, initiate oo woo voice. <laughs> Wait, what? Ooh. 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 Oh, okay. Well, that one, that one will actually uh, affect everybody, so I don't even need to do more than one. But you should, just to burn them out. You could pile them on. Well, no, that doesn't burn them out. <laughs> you can only be affected by one. Oh, well then. Then you should extra pile them on top of each other. All right, so let me get back to the spell. All right, so the ascended raises his hand, palm towards you, and centered on Icky. Um, you see, um, just it looks like the air begins to distort, like uh, how it does in extreme heat, and that kind of distortion starts in front of Icky and just suddenly, instantaneously explodes out into a 20-foot circle. And I need everyone to give me a strength saving throw. Can, can I ask a question that may affect the previous round of splash damage? Sure. Is there any reason it wouldn't also have hit those hounds, the, the scorpion hounds? The splash damage? Wow. Yeah, the... Like, from the previous attack and this one. That's a good question. It does say each creature within five feet. So, yeah. Let me... Let me roll for them quick while everybody's giving me that saving throw. You said intelligent saving throw, right? Well, yes. Yes, yes that's exactly what he said. Before anybody rolls, I would like to remind everyone that we do have a block attack card. Play card as your reaction. Increase AC or save by amount equal to your proficiency for an attack. Use before damage is given. So if you are not very confident in your strength saving throw, perhaps you would want to use block attack. Especially if you are quite squishy with the short uh, health pool. Yeah, I have a good health pool, just wow. I rolled, is I rolled low, I don't think it's going to help enough. I think a 10 would probably still not. So. All right, so then I mean, one of them did make the save and one of them did fail the save. I, I rolled a 12 too, but I think I'll be okay. okay. I got a bit of strength. All right, let me get back to this. It's like the one thing I got. Okay, so in that case, we will start with Sinishi. I, 21. 21? Okay, you made the save. What was that? Icky? That was me. No, Sanishi. Save. 21. Oh, oh so it is. Uh, Icky? Yeah, also 21. 21? All right. Geisen? Uh, Geisen feels that his main strength is his intelligence. So his <laughs> intelligence. Uh, failed. no. Uh, 16. 16? Okay, you failed. Grelda? 
Well, hi, Libby. I got a 22. 22? Okay. Uh, Tony? 20, uh, I'm sorry, 17. 17? Okay, you failed. Five. Five? You oh! also failed. No, you're fine. You're fine. All right, so... Everybody who did... Okay, so everybody who made the save, you take 16 force damage. Everybody who did not make the save takes 33 force damage and is pulled 15 feet in a straight line towards Icky. Um... Question. Yes. I don't think we ha we have my damage last time, so I took four damage, but I should have taken two. No, I think that was halved because it was nine. Well, but I saved the throw. Yeah, it was nine, and you saved. It. Oh, you saved it to four, and then you would have halved it to two. You're right. Okay, so I should take half a sixteen. Thank you. That's all. I just want to make sure. I can get out of the way. If you need to get out of the way. Right, that really didn't do too much. I mean, movement-wise. And did it affect the um, scorpion dogs as well? Yes. Oh, that means it probably affects my. It does. Cannon as well, so he's gonna. Yep. So you need to make a saving throw for him. Yeah, he. I think it's like a flat ten, so he gets thirty. Oh, right. so he gets thirty-three points of damage and is also pulled. Yarp. Yarp. All the scorpion guys are still fine. No, I'm rolling for them. I just wanted to get you guys out of the way first. All right, so two of them fail. One of them succeeds. You said it was a total of 33 now? 33 force damage. All right, so... We're dealing with a Jetta. Oof. What was that? We're dealing with a Jetta with the force damage. Got it. All right, so 33. 33. 16. Then. Come on. There we go. Then, actually, this guy gets pulled directly down there, and this guy's already right next to Icky. Do I get an attack of opportunity as that one moves my range? No, that's only if they move of their own volition. Okay, thank you. Then. Yeah, I'm going to say the Ascendant's turn is over. Gendrick. Are they... Okay, so you're brave. Yeah, I was just good. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, let's take five. I, cool. I was just going to say, like, I would like to put in that it's nine o'clock. Yeah. And that my butt is uncomfortable and I need another beer. So, um, in that order. to save, to try and save my computer, because it, it has to be Discord. There is no reason that... Foundry is sucking my computer up this bad. I'm going to stop streaming. Okay. I'm going to send you the link okay. and see if you would stream. Okay. Because that's the only thing I can think of. So I, I, I know I mentioned it before and I know I've talked about it a couple of times, but I think yeah, I might yeah. want to look for something Should I, other I, than Discord to do this on. Because I, I don't yeah. know what it is about Discord, but my computer hates it. Um, I'll see if I can... Well, I'm... Possibly like, use my work Zoom. I know we've talked... Hey, what... I'm currently on Magoo Manor Guest. Should I switch over to Pretty Fly? Uh, probably. Um, otherwise, I can just give you the outside. Oh, I checking my requirements. Well, here I'll give you both of them. I'm connected. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. I'll give you this one. Hmm. Give it up. Yeah. Um, either that or with the setup we're using now, we could try Google Meet again. Mm. But yeah, that has to it it has to be something with Discord that my computer just hates with a passion. Right. Well, I, I need to be it hates it with passion because it's can't live. You already know that. You're 40 years old. I am 40 years old, and I do know that. <laughs> but it is making my computer not work right. You've said that like a billion times. Not at all. And I'm saying it again. 
uh, 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 bill yeah uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see myself out that's that's good you should do that yeah that's just i'd say sorry not sorry but okay. nothing but sorry <laughs> All right, she's a Sharon. The question is whether or not audio will be good. But we'll cross that bridge when... Is that uh, an instant smell of the healing thing? Oh, it regenerate? Yeah. It seems to be. It doesn't say anything. Like it just... There's no timing use at this. Oh, it's an instant effect. Okay. Yeah, uh, regain hit dice equal to half your proficiency rounded up. So I'm assuming that means if your proficiency is four, then you get two, two hit dice. Yep. Which is 16, which. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, it's really uh, too bad that nobody wanted to just go aggro on those, uh, those gargoyles that were traps that didn't activate last time. I can't blame any of us for not doing that, but... Did anyone die yet? Not yet, but we're getting there. Wait for it. Yes. 
what I remember. Why do you guys always have to have beer on these occasions? Because it's fun to have alcohol when we click on the thing. I'd say because they're weirdos. It's an occasion at two. That is also good. Right. Super smooth. Mm. Wow. That is good. Let's look up Black. Oh, yeah. Your Black Friday. Mm. I don't know. I'm kind of torn. Torn. They're different. I think there's. They're both delicious. Well, they but they are, they are different flavor profiles. Well, I bet you. Or Imperial Stout versus Imperial Porter. And the one I actually just finished drinking was an Imperial Stout. So it's an Imperial kind of thing. So does the sound seem like yes. it working? Oh, yeah, I was going to think, I think it's definitely working. Nice. Um, the recording will judge that though. But True. We should move, if we can, like the microphone over to this side because it's okay. picking up a lot of the laptop fan. Yeah. Oh, is it? Oh, God. Yeah, if you listen to it. So there, there's some noise. Mm. But watch when I um, kill. That's, that's most of that noise is the laptop. Oh, okay. I'll move it over to the other side. And it's funny because I'm talking and I can hear them plodding in the background. Yeah. So it actually, like, it's really it's really nice quality. Oh, yeah. No, like, he and I have already talked about this. So he knows. I dig it. Um, like, he just didn't know that I was going to reach out to Bill about it. Because like now I started like looking back, and I look back at the session where he had that dream. Oh yeah, right. I want to try. Like I need to figure out like okay, it was like where Ooh. can I justify that... you know where did Tarn? I think that's okay. Off? I mean yeah, right. the camera's still I felt yeah, the camera actually looks a lot better. I feel like Tarn and he would be on the same. Thing. My first response, yeah, my like, first like mental reaction was like best, if that. Sure Fixes count. the sound issues. Oh, God. Like, good God. No, I think we did figure out the sound yeah. issues, thankfully. Oh, I, mean, I, mean, I think so too, but that would have just. My first mind. Like, every time I've introduced something new AV, it's always one or two sessions of this. Like the, oh, we were supposed to start at 7 and it's 7 30 and something isn't working. I think I. Uh, and sometimes it happens even when new things aren't introduced. That's true. Okay, I see you're to stop myself from going down the rabbit hole. Wow. <laughs> I think you missed out on a beautiful opportunity to go down that rabbit hole because that could have been good. That could have been you, you, you just like, you want to go down the rabbit hole, but like right as you step your point of view, you're like, oh, yeah, no, no, like, no, no. That, like, that could be one heck of a tumble. It's, it's deeper than I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Feel free. Yeah. You feel like, I know it's been a while since the last session. We feel better. I don't even remember what the heck the last session. Oh yeah. yes. Yeah. Well. Yeah. But uh, finally back up to uh, you know the running is better for So that's good. That's good. That's good. So is everybody's hit points down as low as they they look? Uh yes. Yeah. Okay. We, I, I we didn't take that um, <laughs> rest, and we had a. Uh, uh, yeah, we didn't. The effects of a rest. What the hell is that we card? Did, we did not take a short rest. The card yeah. in this room. Like, uh, like I won't be spending no, both my action and my bonus bad. action I on healing myself this turn. Okay. Okay. It was, but it was, it was. I think a. Everybody I don't know how everyone else is doing, but I have a feeling I might be the worst. I can't get hit again. Does the boss guy still have his three forms up? Yes. Perfect. How's the library job going, Jill? Are you still liking it? I still love it, yes. Even, That's like, awesome. actively, it went, like, our system went down today, so I couldn't, like, you couldn't check people out, couldn't check books in, couldn't, like, do anything, which sucked. But thankfully, Did you break out the old, uh, the old cards and start writing on them and stuff? No. Uh, we, we actually just, like, scan everything to a notebook and wait for the system to come back up and then copy paste and just let people go and hope that their accounts you know don't make us override anything to get them the books and items that they checked out but like it went down today i was in the middle of checking out a family who gets like they like this family like creeps up to their hundred item limit all books I love them so yeah, much. I, uh, I know who. And like, I was in the I middle know. of checking them out, like the 60 was. items, um, and everything crashed. I was like, yeah. Oh, that yeah, that's Volo. Is that like the guy who like who told? Not what I wanted Volo. to happen. Yes. So did you yeah. lose the the 60 that you'd already scanned? No. 
no. So, okay, it's good. Like, yeah, no, it's when the system works, it's a great system. I would love to look at the code of it. Uh, I'd love to change some of the code because I have some very simple front end things that like. Oh my god, that fields just need these things set, and it would make everything so much smoother and better. But I'm just a page. They don't give me this type of access. Otherwise, if I if I raise if I raise more of a stink, they probably yeah. would give me access. Because there's like it's one guy in charge. Is, it must be something they bought, though, right? The software. I'm not sure. I think so, but I also think it's open source to an extent. Because we can make requests and have things change. There's just a lot of the requests I have are, you know, kind of nitpicky, like, you know, when the page loads, have this field selected. Or like, there's really nitpicky things like that, where like my coworkers are like, wait, that's a possibility? And I'm like, yes. Yes, that is a thing. It could be done. It's just not, for some reason. Yeah, that seems like that's a little annoying. It's there, there's there's some minor annoyances, but I've I've gotten used well, to them. It was a fun campaign. Ish, <laughs> which is kind well, of which was, makes me like which is like a double edged sword because I'm like on one hand it's good to get used to the idiosyncrasies of the system you're working with. On the other hand, I'm not looking at it through a programmer's perspective anymore. Going, what can I fix about this? Which is a really weird shift. Sure. Well, it's, makes sense to have that shift because it probably doesn't do you any good to think about how you would fix it because you can't. Yeah, it doesn't. And it's honestly like the complete lack of responsibility is really nice and feels way better than I thought it would. Well, expected it could. Like, hey, you want to go on all these The server crashed today. I wasn't responsible in any way. No, no alerts on your phone about it. Yeah, no, exactly. Like someone else is blowing up, but it's not me. Sorry, I blew up. So yeah, no, like I'm, I'm loving it. The people are amazing. There are so many smart kids who are like into fantasy and anime and manga, and I love it so much. But it looks great. So it's yeah. And they like me too. I have like I have some families who are like, Oh, you're our favorite and I'm like, I've only been here since December. And I totally don't pay those people. Fuck. That would explain a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, then we will on that note. We will get we will, we will. started. Um Gendrick, you're up. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna move uh, 15 feet to the east, which I think puts me. Yeah, that's good. Um, that's a good spot. And then I'm gonna chuck a level a level three level three spell slot three. What's it called? Yeah, it's level. Okay. Level three. Yeah, level three fireball at the uh, um, ascended whatever guy. All right. Um. I need you to roll a d20 for me first. Twelve. All right. Then go ahead. And what is the save, saving throw? Seventeen over? decks. Seventeen decks. Uh, what's his saving throw? What show? What show? What you save? What you save? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Twenty-two. Oh. Dang. All right. So he's gonna take half as much damage on this fire damage roll. All right. Oh. It's so pretty. It's only a 22. 22, so 11. Yeah. And well, that's that, a lot of ones. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of ones. It was a bad roll. Um, 
And because that's a 20 foot radius, I assume that hits all, like, the... If I throw at him, I would hope that it would... Yeah, the fireball um, would encompass the three Actually, let forms. me... Uh, target to you with an attack. No, since that's uh, an AOE, hmm. uh, I would say you don't even have to worry about it. It doesn't... Okay. It's only when, yeah, it's only when you target it within its hand, since it's not a, even a spell that targets it, since it's an AOE attack. It doesn't have a it doesn't have a chance of only doing damage to the, what? Nothing. He's just singing. Like, no. All right, so that was 11 damage? Yes. Yes. Then I need to make a saving throw for concentration. Saving throw. Saving throw. Saving throw, and we want him to fail. Saving. Saving throw. <laughs> Man, imagine what it would be like if we had beer. <laughs> <laughs> imagine what it would be like if we had beer. Mm. Did, did, yes. Did she just men be like us? She yep. absolutely all right, all right, did, right. and she was right on. High, high, high five, Libby. High five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to dismiss it. High five. Libby. I noticed. I noticed. I'm like, is that a little, a little more effort? A little higher? Yeah. No, I've no. Never yeah. Felt, I've Perfect. never felt oh, so lame in my Lord. whole life. <laughs> I'm just so glad your name's not Jeff. <laughs> All right, equals Good job. The DC is 10 or half the damage you take, whichever is higher. So I need to make a constitution saving throw and get 10. Twenty-two. All right. So we keep so going. close. So close. Did did you say something? Do each All of the right. illusions roll, or like, how does that work when it, each of them is getting hit by something? Um, since it, the the spell specifically says when like the creature is targeted, that's when one of the duplicates might okay. go away. The spell does not mention anything about AOE, so I am going to just say that since it's not targeted, neither of the illusions are affected. Allow us to die. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> just came out of complete nowhere. All right. It For my bonus action. Like this long. It's getting weird. Bonus it's getting action. Really weird. Um, I'm considering wheeling uh, the automaton up to deal damage, although it's a little tight, and someone might get burnt. So I'm just gonna have him move uh, 15 feet to the west into that hallway, just to cover that zone back so, there, and kind of break up the party a little bit to watch out for AOE. So he's not gonna do anything. He's just moving, and that's the end pointer. Hold, hold, hold. Hold your turn, and anything that comes around the corner, you could say you're holding this turn. Or I don't know if that actually works with an automaton. Um, I would say not, because everything the automaton does is part of his bonus action. Got it. It doesn't yeah. go on its own turn, so I would say it can't hold action. Yeah, and he's like, like I'm, I'm more or less using like a remote control to control him, so I kind of yeah. have to see too. So I, yeah. I, and I, since he is a knockoff R2D2, it doesn't get all the special stuff. Yeah. All right, anything else good, sir? I well, think that's it. Then, darn it. You're up. Uh, ten feet. Oh, what the hell is that? That's going to be east. And then diagonally up east and east and north. As far as my movement will carry me. All 30, How far? 35? All 30 feet. 30? Uh, sh do I have it? No, 30 feet. Take you there. Okay. Um. Oh, give it. I will use my bonus to hold on. Let me check that page. And you can't hold bonuses, we just went over that. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, thank you. Thank you, I appreciate 
the reminder. And while you're while you're moving forward, you do hear in your ear, Tarnan, or everybody hears, but the voice says, "Tarnan, your lack of control makes you so predictable." Do you need the light on, Bill? No. So I'd give that up. If if he is empathic in any way, he feels greater rage from Grelda. Just <laughs> I will use my bonus action to continue up this direction. Oh um, yeah, you can use it for uh, dash. Yes. Alright, how far would you like to go? 5, 10, 15, 15 feet uh, north and east. 15. And then 15 feet north. 15. 5, 10, 15, 20. Come on. Okay. And I will take two shots at this individual. How many of those cards do we have left for the bonus? Uh, uh, we have two inspiration cards. Uh, one come at me, bro. One regenerate. <laughs> one block attack. Okay, so let's use an inspiration card unless anyone has any objections. Nope. Tarnan seems pretty inspired right now. Shot misses. Too bad Tarn's not a queen, because otherwise he could take well, and send it right now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> does a 15 hit? The 15 does not hit. Okay, so Tarn misses. And then his second attack does a 25 hit. Uh, 25 would hit. Okay. So hold on a second. It would uh. hit. All right, so I have two duplicates, <laughs> so I need to roll an eight or higher for it to hit a duplicate and not the ascendant. That's a seven. Nice. That's a dragon. That's a dragon. I'm a dragon. I will never forget that. I'm that hillbilly dragon. dragon. That All right, so dragon. go ahead and Ridiculous. roll so damage. <laughs> All right, oh, so... No. Oh, wait. The bolt does... God bless America! That's, uh, damage? <laughs> How a much? Damage. Yeah, I'm saying very literally. <laughs> I am a damage, that. yeah. Uh, well, why is that not even listed on here now? Oh, it's because I scrolled down. <laughs> so, seven points from the bolt. Okay. Um, sneak attack damage. Uh, you didn't have advantage on that roll. You had advantage on the first roll. Doesn't happen. Seven points. Seven points. All right. Then I need to roll a <coughs> nineteen. All right. He keeps concentration. So you do. You move up. You take the shot, and you see it. It actually like stops for a second. Have you seen Dune? The new Dune. Yeah. Where it actually stops for a second and just kind of vibrates a little bit, yeah. and then pushes in, and you actually see it kind of push into his shoulder slowly. And he, he drops the shoulder just for a second and then kind of brings it back up, reaches, takes it out as you fire the other one. He actually swipes at the one you fire at him and just with the bolt in his hand, knocks it to the side. Does that mean we now know which one is the real Slim Shady? In that moment. But not they, for any future attacks. Yeah, and then they all swirl around and yeah. you lose it again. Oh, uh, okay. Freaking shell game. <laughs> I mean, again, so I'm just... Dungeons and Dragons trying to make things work with numbers. I'm still just numbers. picturing them doing cheerleading stuff. And Anything else you would like to do, Tony? Just mix it up. Bonus action, action, and movement are done. Okay. Uh, can you not use a bonus action to initiate a rap battle? Because clearly <laughs> the DM has just let slip that that is his weakness. He is. Well, he is the real slip shape, so. Oh, shit. And you're, you're fucked. I mean, I imagine them doing the can can. Not even Captain America thing. can. Did you just say the can can? <laughs> yeah, well, they're all in sync. It would be perfect. <laughs> this is literally so a now in sync too. Of he does. He does the can. He does the can oh, so can as he moves off the side. He's just the like the puppet thing. <laughs> Rap battle, the can can dance, and in sync. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh man, it's like the nineties all over again. 
the Ascend is wearing Jinko. If, like, if we can leave Jinko a pair of, like, enchanted oh Jinkos Lord. once oh. we down this guy. All right, so Sunishi is super drunk. It will, be, it will be Sunishi's turn before... How, how far... Turn, how far are you away? Chain from. swings it around his head. <laughs> so like, All right, so you're 20 feet. All right, so before Sunishi goes... Um, everybody in their ear hears, um... Which ear? Every ear. Just your right ear. Even your ear. He, he holds up the, uh, the, sc- the, the, uh, the scales that he still has in his hand. He has not, they have not left his hand. He holds it up, and everybody hears, Once my lord has this, nothing will be beyond his reach. Power, control... Even death. And you see his featureless masked face look directly at Tarnan and say, Picture it. Serving a lord who can bring back any soul, regardless of how long it's been gone. And then you just Tarnan hear a soft laughter. Batman's voice, where is she? <laughs> and, where is she? And he's going to follow that up by using his ve- vector shift legendary action. Tarnan, give me a charisma saving throw. Charisma. Charisma. You suck. What was that? Uh, I, I can't remember. Like uh, I can't remember the guy from from town, but in my head, he's the commissioner. He's the guy. He's he's the guy that is. Oh, um, that is a uh, sheriff. Yeah, the sheriff. Yep. Yeah, he's four. Twenty-two. <laughs> four. You're only one, two, four. We we get outside outside of old light. We look up. Okay. Tarn and signal is up in the sky. Right. I'm guessing you don't want to. I'm guessing you don't want to be teleported. Uh, not but teleported oh. to where? Well, I wouldn't be able to tell you. You'd have to be willing to be teleported. I'm not willing to be teleported. Okay, then you made the saving throw and nothing happens. Hmm. Because if it's into that motherfucker's face, with my crossbow in his left eye hole. All right, Sanishi. Your left eye hole. Alrighty. And then, oh, oop, it's a right Shisuba's next. So it doesn't happen. I, I'm pissed. And I'm bleeding out. What do I get? So I would like to read, but I can't. I am going to. I'm going to hit the dude standing in front of me. Hopefully. All right. Kill the dude controlling the dude who's trying to bleed you out. Twenty-three. Twenty-three hits. Yay! Just grab the first aid kit if she bleeds out. Oh, cool. Uh, so eleven damage. All oh, right, that's a f- okay. Is stuff in your way? I hit, no. I hit, okay. I need to roll with both hands to hit, no worries, right? No worries. Uh, yes, you would roll with your, uh, uh, yes, your main hand, your second okay. part of your first attack, and then your bonus action to attack. Okay. So my main hand hit for 11 damage. Um, 23 hits. 23 hits. That's do not. 7 damage. All right. Take the. Is that extra hit bonus action or is it just? It's a. a it is a bonus action. Yeah. So I can do that or I can do something else. Uh, That's the point. All right. Sorry, so as opposed to using my bonus action to do that other hit, I am going to healing word level two myself. Okay. Which is two d four plus one. Okay. So I get healed for eight. All right, so it takes you back up to 18? Yes. All right, anything else you would yeah, like to Yeah, I'm really bleeding. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm really bleeding out, guys. You are, yes, you are the lowest of the group. I, but not by much. Nope. Well, how much is she bleeding out? A lot. A lot. All right, then. Well, what happened? She did. A lot of fighting. Your dad happened. All right, so at the end of that turn, Tarnan, give me another charisma saving throw. Another one? Another one. Another. Can it be something other than charisma? No. Be Can you nicer. check again? <laughs> well, I mean, I could do a different spell if you'd like. Oh, well, uh, let me phrase that. anyone dying, we do have that healing card. Yep, yep. So you may... Yep, there it is, a seven. This. Yep. You rolled a seven? Uh, That's correct. I also All right, the then... Die once and come back. You... That saves, right? right? Seven Same saves? Throw is a rap battle, right? I mean, that's... I'm sorry, what did you say, Tammy? I said that saves, right? Seven saves? Sure. He said yes. He said yes. You heard it. I have witnesses. 
And yet the DM can change his mind. No. So um, you just, you feel like your, uh, the pins and needles, like when your leg falls asleep, you feel that all over your body. And um, suddenly everything flashes white and you disappear and reappear 60, it's not actually 60, but in a different location within 60 feet of where you were. Dracula fears time, for if not, why does he push me so? Yes? We, you can wait until my turn. Oh, okay. I'm just, I'm remembering I had something that I'm not finding right now, and I'm curious. Well, I'd say that's the monsters that are going to attack, so. If you got well, a question, well, no, ask no, well, So it's, I'm just remembering that I had something that allowed me to spend a key point, touch, like, specifically touch, a willing creature and it restored hit die, but all I can find is something that affects me. So I'm just not sure if I just made that up or if I'm not finding it. Very creative, Nate. Key fuel, deflect missile, drunk technique, quickened healing. Yeah, quickened healing is the one that the way it reads to me only affects me. Uh, yes, because it just. You spend it and regain it. It doesn't say anything about other creatures. Yeah, I just, I swear. Evasion, stillness of mind, pure body, drunkard's luck. I, mobile sentinel, I don't okay. see anything. Is it, could it be in a, a future, like a level up? It, it might be. It also might have been from that chunk of time where there was a bug in D&D oh. where there were like things that I didn't actually have that they were showing there so it might have been one of those sorts of things so all right so um, that was that was the check i wanted to do if you're seeing Sunishi. the same thing i am yep that's that's what i'm seeing all, all right. right so sunishi the shisuba in front of you is going to take a bite attack at you it's gonna miss it's gonna miss three ten yes well it fits. Damn. All right. All right. In that case, does tail attack hit you? <laughs> no. <laughs> tail attack hits you. Nope. Tail attack. I'm too close for that tail. You miss with the mouth, you get the other end. That's right. That's oh. No, actually, the tail attack is going to shoot out a Grelda. And the tail is twenty-two. And nineteen. Okay. All right, in that case, I need a constitution saving throw. Do-do. Do-do. <laughs> 19. Oh, you, you, you saved. All right. Do-do. So you take um, 13 piercing damage, half, half. to six. Six. <laughs> and you are not poisoned or paralyzed. And um, before its tail shoots out at Grelda, it... Do you, you have a... Sh- what? No, you have the, you have the two axes. axes. All right, so uh, as uh, the uh, Shishuba... It, it bites down... Yes. The, the, uh, these, I, these are attacked. I have advantage against, against poison. Should so, I have rolled twice? I'm sorry, hold on a second. There's, oh, wait, there's two sorry. people talking. Oh, uh, Tammy, first? Yes. I have advantage against poison? No, you weren't poisoned because you saved. Okay, so that would have come in afterwards. If you would have if you would have failed to save, then the poison would have happened. But since you succeeded, nothing happens. Um, okay. You do have Sentinel. Um, but, but it's not that one really is sentinel. not adjacent yeah. to you. So yes. All right. So um, it it bites at Sanishi's leg, and she actually crosses her axes and like pins the uh, the creature's head to the floor until and it snaps a couple of times and then pulls back out and that's when it shoots its tail at Grelda and it gets Grelda in the thigh and as it pulls it out you can see like some some yellowish fluid in the wound and you you actually you grab your you uh you put your you ball your fingers into a fist and just slam it down on your thigh and the yellowish fluid just like shoots out instead of being absorbed that one's turn is done gross now this one is also going to bite at Sanishi <laughs> Because you're because it can Wait, tell. Wait, the halo hasn't moved. Which one is it? It's the one to it's, the north of Icky. Yeah. yeah, I you can't do it. Oh, but you I to, can. Uh, you need to click over to the. Oh shit! Sorry. So there you go. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. No, you can't do it, but I can. So 
So I'm going to switch back over to my character sheet so I can Go read ahead. Sentinel. <laughs> yes. So it would be... Uh, when it makes an attack against a target other than you, you can use your reaction to make a melee weapon attack against the attack. Alright, so it is a 13 against Zanishi. Seriously? 13. Oh, you're good. Your AC is no, 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 that's not damage. No, that's not damage. Against your AC. Oh, it gives me AC. Okay. <laughs> yes, I'm alive. All right, so you go ahead and do the melee attack. <laughs> okay. Uh, the actions. The claw. The claw. Of course, the die. Oh, wow, natural 20. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so what's your damage die on that one? Uh, D, uh, 2d8. 2d8? All right. Um, don't bother rolling. When did that change? Shh, quiet. <laughs> no, level up, I think. Oh, okay, well, because just like, I'm looking at his nor like, my oh, talent. Wait, oh, oh wait. it's because I just rolled a crit. Yeah. yeah. Wait, I, wait, I wait. I don't like that D&D Beyond wait. like updates everything if you roll a 20. No. I was actually looking to see if there's a way to so No, just, okay, I am sorry. That was a different, I was, I do need you to roll it. Um, so, it, it's right, it's not going to roll correctly. So roll it, and then look at what it actually rolls, and just give me the first of the two rolls. Because the, the you automatically get a full eight, plus whatever the first of those two rolls is. Well, both of the rolls were a five. Five? So eight, mm -hmm. full eight, plus five. Thirteen. Plus, plus whatever your modifier is. Which is another five. Oh, okay, so, so it's 18. 18. All right. Nice. All right, so this one turns... And as uh, Sanishi pulls her axes up from pinning the other head down, it takes a bite at her, and she, with the, uh, the backside of your axe, not where it's sharp, you just swing it down and smash it right in the side of the face, and a couple of its not teeth happening. go flying. And as it's stunned, that's when Icky just puts his claws together and just digs up to your wrist, down into its back, twists your claw and pulls it out, and you just see this, this yellow viscous just... Yep. And it, it does make a, a sucking sound. Pull your claw out. We are going to need some serious <laughs> presentation after this. Yeah, that I'm was having, the idea. I'm having an image of basically popping a zit coming out. Uh, this oh. year. And yeah. Um, no, 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 no. Yeah, yes, I'm not yes, enjoying yes, yes. it. <laughs> All right, well, this one, this one is going to. It just saw what Icky did, so this one's going to go at Icky. With its bite. Your, your turn, Grelda. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. I'm nope. sorry. No. The previous one that Icky had just hit is going to do its tail attack. Almost forgot about the tail attack. Damn it. It's too late. It's, it's too late. Against Grelda. Uh-huh. Which is a... Which is a 22. Wow, this die really likes 15s. I was gonna say, like, wow, these tail attacks are very effective. No, this this twenty sided die that you gave me is very fond of fifteens. Oh. Damn it! All right, so Damn you, Tammy. I need you to roll another Constitution saving throw. You already used your reaction. Yes, I did. So you can't attack again. That's why I was just like, I was like, hey, oh damn! But not that one. Only a ten. The other one. I was like, but okay, so. It says, um, you must succeed on the saving throw or become poisoned. But I have advantage against poison? You have advantage against poison? That's how, what it says? How is that a thing? Because uh, I'm a advantage on dwarf? specific saving throws. Yeah, uh, um, if, if you have advantage on saving throws against poison, then you can make a second saving throw, since you have advantage. Okay. Uh, which one was this? Sorry. Dex? Uh, Constitution. No. Brilliant. 24. All right, then you do save against it. Uh, but you do take uh, six piercing damage. Uh, in half by three? No, that is uh, that is halved. Damn it. All right, then okay. that creature's turn is over. The next one is going to actually bite at Grelda. Oh, wait, you said it was going to bite at Icky. <laughs> well, now that that other one went, it changed its mind. <laughs> <laughs> DM's mitigating! Ha, ha. Hey, that's a 12. So, 19? She no hit? 
Oh, wait, no, wait, I, I'm 19, so you win, don't you? Yes. yes. Ty goes the attacker. Ty goes the attacker. All right, so you take 13 piercing damage, because 26 halved. Damn. So. Oh. Really halved? All right. Halved. All right, so, so as. That was looking a little rough, y'all. As the, as the stinger of the other one comes out of your side, this one, like, moves forward and actually it's the teeth grip around your calf. And then it pulls back. And no, then its tail is going to attack Icky. Hey, hey! Four. All right. That was another 15. I'm going to set this oh. guy aside. <laughs> no, I'm not counting. That Dad, what, 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 what die? Which one? No, the die that Tammy gave me. Well, yeah, the glittery dies. I glittery thought dies. they would be more balanced, but they really they have like an air bubble. This you can guy look really at it. likes 15. It does. I'm gonna. Is this thing cursed or something? 15. If it's, it's a, a 10 plus 7, 17. <laughs> <laughs> 19. 19? Okay. Then as it shoots out, you actually you like throw your wing up and it goes right under it. A couple feathers fly out as it pulls back. <laughs> And do I get my opportunity yeah. attack now? <laughs> um, you you can use Sentinel. Yep. All right. Um, that's just a regular attack. I cannot do Great Weapon Master. Um, no, I don't believe so. Okay. Um, uh, but I still do get advantage, right? Because it is pinned. Uh, yes. Because it right. is still a it is still just a melee weapon attack. Thank goodness. Twenty three. That hits. All right, and then we have... Oh, and yes, Great Weapon Master specifically says on your turn. Mm. Okay, okay. So 10 plus 3, 13. 13 damage? All right. Yep. Okay. All right, so as its, uh, as its tail shoots out, you actually come down with Sasha, and its tail comes back as you kind of cut along it. So you just have this long slice along the side of its tail as it's unknowingly helping Sasha pull along it. Then, Geisen, you are up, good sir. Okay. Um, I'm gonna toll the dead, uh, the one that was just attacking. Uh, okay. Wisdom 17 save. What was that? Wisdom 17 Wisdom save. 17, all right. This is why I did my That is a 14. So, 3d12. <laughs> Calm down, Joe. You gotta... <laughs> I had a good itch in me. Uh, 20. 20? All right, so, um, Geisen, Geisen raises his hand and points at the, the creature, and the dark energy coalesces around its head, and you just see it, its mouth opens wide, and then wider, and wider, and then its entire head just kind of begins to collapse in on itself, and it twists, and the body just writhes and then drops to the floor. Wait, we killed one? It is dead. Yay! Yay! Well... How did it that turned out to be the descended form. <gasps> <Yeah. laughs> so its mouth open. Um, and then for my bonus action, I'll uh, so sick the nails on the one that's above Icky. All right, go ahead. All right, so what do you got, good sir? Fifty-eight. Fifty-eight damage. What? What? <laughs> How many of them hit? <laughs> Nine. Can, can you use that to heal? <laughs> All but I know, one. Right? All but one hit for 58 damage. All right. Awesome. So you hear the Yosemite Sam <laughs> voice as they pull out of the previous one and shoot diagonally to hit this one. And they just form a line straight across its side. And as they hit, they actually go in a little further. And as they push almost all the way in, the creature shakes and then drops to the ground and dies. Yeah. Yay!
All right. Is there anything else you would like to do? Any other creatures you'd like to kill? Yeah, can you kill the one? For my bonus kill bonus the action, ascended. I'd like to kill the, the third one. <laughs> I deeply appreciate that. All right. Well, in that case, then you hear. Ooh, how far can Does this, this go? bitch ever shut up? No. Nope. You've known us way too long to believe. No, in that. not you. You're talking that, about the, the, the purple robe. Oh, bitch. the purple robe guy. Oh, what's he saying? I'm, I'm actually. I've been taking notes of what he what says. We're time. about to find out. John's, John's looking up notes. Hold on. There we go. He's looking them up. Oh, and I'm oh them dear. Um, there is a dissertation. Four-armed gargoyle that. Geisen and Tarnan see coming down the hallway where you had just come from. And it Close does, the doors! It does stop there. All right. Grab the droid! Close the doors! I mean, so what's the point in telling us that it's four-armed? Is this some type of race thing? Wow. Yes. I can't believe you went there. <laughs> All right, then. Is so. Tan. So we're back up to white. Icky. But did that? No, it did that twice. Never mind. I can't. I would guess gray. No, I can't. Okay. Or marbled. Um. It's a car so you do hear? No, I was. You do hear? Everybody hears the gravelly voice in their ears. Icky. You should see the fun I've had. And that's all. Your turn. And as he says that, the small rod, golden rod in his hand, he's just spinning I mean, And he is still just like... He, he does it, puts it away, pulls it out, and puts it away. Okay, okay, okay. But he's like, he's clearly got it on his... Purse. Yes, and puts it in a pocket of his robe and then pulls it out. I just want everyone to know that every time one of these whispers comes in, to the, in our heads, like Sunishi starts, just <laughs> not used to it yet. What? Like, I'm this just, isn't I'm, one of my partner's voices. This isn't one of my teammates. I'm hearing new voices, guys. <sighs> Tarnan's going to have to sit her down and start a counseling session. <laughs> oh, God. Um, Tarnan, Sunishi counseling session. So, the world's going to burn. Yeah, that right. sounds actually a lot of fun. <laughs> we should almost roleplay that on the side. <laughs> and, and get it recorded so we can just, like, play it for the group. Oh, you did I what? Won, no. uh, I'm just... Uh, <laughs> Okay. So which one's first? <laughs> Fuck. All right. Um. Oh, there we go. How, like, looking around at at the party, who who's looking the the most like? Oh God, they're they're barely hanging on. It, it's between the two of us by like a point. Well, uh, yep. Sanishi and Sanishi and Tarnan are uh, neck and neck. Hang on, hang on. But Tarnan's, Tarnan's uh, hiding it. And uh, Gendrick is not far behind. Okay. No, yeah. Is the card for the heels? I am. Uh, let's see. What is the card for the heels? Anyway? The card for the heels is regain hit dice equal to half your proficiency rounded up. For no, multi-class, okay. take highest. I look like I have approximately 5% of my health. <laughs> oh, well, then you're slightly worse off than I am. Yeah. So, all right. Um, <laughs> so, I've got about 15. Okay. Percent. Yeah. So I... Uh, man, Sanisha, you're lucky that... Oh, wait, no, I can't do that. I can't write because we just went over the yeah, fact Yeah, it's that only for you. It's just me. Um, hmm, well, in that case... Turning. Oh, 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 oh. Has taught you anything. Take out the monsters. Tarnan's got your back. Got your back. Yeah. Alright, um I guess so like if you'll just um take a step forward and work on that uh that uh that creature that initially affronted Death. him. Bitch. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Uh, All right. Caw, caw. 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 There. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Is it stealing a lot? No. What was that? Oh. Yeah. Uh, Nate, Nate you. can you click onto the? I. 
It, oh. It, I tried to roll a thing. Oh, his computer is going. My, yeah, my, my my D and D Beyond is frozen because I tried to roll a die. <laughs> is your computer frozen or your D and D Beyond? D and D Beyond is frozen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which just, just seems like my oh Chrome in general uh, seems to have locked up completely. So one moment. Technology. Your roll is a twenty-five, according to the log. By yeah, the way. that's. Uh, Damn it, Tarnan. <laughs> Tarnan didn't roll. What the f- I didn't. No. If it, if no, I had rolled, it would not have been twenty-five. Okay. Oh. His so, brain just causing all these issues. Okay, I think we're. I think we're good again. So let's see. That was talons to hit sixteen plus nineteen. Okay, so yeah, twenty-five. Okay, so it did roll. Cool. All right, so twenty-five does it. Yay, and everything seems to be working again. All right, eight yeah. damage for the first hit. How much? Eight damage. Don't roll the second. Oh, too late. <laughs> well, that was a wasted 18. <laughs> so you you just step off, life. and you're just like, you're just shaking your head, you're, you're bleeding, you're hurt, and you're shaking your head, and you just backhand, right up, you backhand this creature right upside its jaw, and its head just snaps, and you hear a crack. And its head turns almost all the way around and it drops to the ground. Snap, crackle, drop. Snap, crackle, drop. <laughs> and it's the potential. Scott, you have the best death descriptions titles. of an EDM ever to see. Aw, well, thank you. Um, they are the okayest descriptions ever. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I roll. Um, Extreme eye roll. Damn. Roll for I mean, have you, so at this point, have you had you, a DM other than John? Damn, and, uh, um, you had Nate. Does it matter? Twice. I know, but I'm just wondering if that's just basically a dig at Nate. No, this is oh. this is why I, this is why I try and DM everything because if anybody else DMs, you realize how shitty I am. So I just if I can just keep everybody's expectations low. <laughs> fuck you. I can say that because your daughter went to sleep. Fuck <laughs> you. Um, All right, thank you. So it, I, can, I can use the rest of my movement here. Right? Yes. Cool. Yeah, you can move, do um, an action, and then move. So, fuck. Um, can I say anything about those guys down there? I mean, am I mute yeah, does during like, that my turn? I mean, I would allow it like, oh shit. Something, I mean, something quick like that. Target's in the hall. Space yeah, dive. There you go. Um... So if that came from Tarnan, if you would like, look at the Ascended, Whoa. look back at Tarnan, Ascended, Hall. <clears throat> Take your pick, honestly. Oh, can you click back on to the... I, I am there. Oh, okay. Click off, click back on. Yeah, it's like, you can't, if you want, like, I'm, because since we're... No, that's, oh, there we go, it's just... Super delayed. We're looking at mo- no, no. It's not delayed. I just we're not. Looking oh, at you're right. I'm Never sharing. Mind. We're Never looking mind. at my view. Yeah. Look at how things the way I want to look at them. Yeah. All right. We're in my room now, bitch. <laughs> um. I so. Uh, he says that every night before we go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. All right. So and what does it? What does it? You want to do? Um. Oh my god. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'll never be able to go to sleep the same. <laughs> Goal achieved. Um, <laughs> what are you going to do? I'm, I'm, do? I'm thinking. All right, what are you so, going to do? So, since. So, I like. Icky just kind of like takes one last look over his um, over his shoulder, points at the Ascended, just like says, Growler! And then uh, heads uh, back down into the hall. Um, and then I guess as soon as he rounds the corner, uh, would see that gargoyle get. I, I'd like to move one square southwest of the automaton, please. Yeah, that is 30 I apologize, feet. Nate. I could not hear what you said. What did you yell about the Ascended? Just point, pointed back at him and said, Krelda! And then ran off into the hallway. Okay, thank you. That's very important, because she was planning on attacking him anyway, but if what you said had changed that plan, then she would need to know. All right, so that is 30 of your movement. Yep. Take you there. 30 out of 55, five of which was already used to step up towards the thing. Yep. I'm going to end there. All right. Anyone else just kind of a crowd? Oh, wait. 
Wait, can I yeah, can I okay. step but that could because I just to confirm, I could technically use the rest of my movement to get right up in it and then use a key point to do double attacks. Yes. Well, okay. Oh wait, um because key point it just says you use a key point to do another strike. Right. Yes. And, and it and I don't okay, cool. I'm gonna just go ahead and do that. Okay. So let me get back to my character sheet since you're a uh... <laughs> You can look it. I'll I'll Big fan of the animated tokens. That's, that's fucking awesome. I love it. All right, so Kaklaw roll oh, thirteen. And it's since I already rolled, too late to use anything. So for that first one, it is, and uh, let me click on it really quick. No, that doesn't. Work. All right, so that does not hit. So yeah. actually, okay, go ahead and roll your second one. Come on. Uh oh, it's getting laggy again. Anybody else seeing me roll? Yep. Yes, you rolled an 11. Okay, cool. Hey, why? It's All right. almost like servers don't have the same lag that computers do. I didn't. I saw no such roll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 11 also did. I misspoke. It. it was a 22. Okay. Uh, a natural 22. <laughs> See, it's funny that that's going to come across in the recording that I put on YouTube, but none of them are. Oh. So, um, yeah, uh, Icky sides dejectedly. And all right, so actually, so Icky, you, you run up to this, I mean, this very, like, larger than you gargoyle with four arms. It's got the wings behind it. And you just, like, real quick jab, jab, and you connect with both of them. But it's... Rock like super rock hired exterior. Your your hits like your fist hit it and just nothing. Okay, so let's see. So I'm used. I we we said I've used 30, 35, 40, 40, 40 of your movements. Okay, okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that I've got disengage and fifteen movement yet, and just move back directly south of R two. Oh, uh, not R two D two. Uh, Copyright infringement too. <laughs> Our copyright infringement too. The damn name the thing already. <laughs> he will by the time the campaign's over. I mean, his health's a little low, so. I so mean, when there it, it is. dies, don't, don't, don't get too attached. His name can be directly Lil below. Lil. Health's a little low. Okay. Lil, we'll just All right. Lil in that Lil. case, Grelda, well, you're up. Lil, 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 Lil. I move below Lil. Lil, Lil. So. Not Willow. Lil. Lil. I have 35 movement towards the... I, I am not aware that there's anything going on in the hallway, so I'm... And, and, and someone just egged me on to go forward, which I wanted to do anyway. Five. So 35 towards uh, the boss, please. 30, 35. There she goes. All right, so I am going to throw some hand axes at some of these uh, things I see. All right. Right. Uh, do I have to do anything special if I throw them? It's been so long. Their names are, are Hops and Barley, by the way. <laughs> um, you, um, that's going into my notes. I don't know if you can throw both of them. Um, I figured one attack for each. But, um, I'm trying to think if you can do an offhand ranged attack. Uh, it wouldn't necessarily be offhand. It would be my second attack from the turn. Ah, right, well, that's fine. Hello? Did everyone freeze? What's going on? We're thinking. You just can't smell the No, burning. hold on. Yep, hold on just a second. I just want to check something. Thank you. Please do. Because this is not something I do very often. No, I just want to... That's especially Attack great action. considering Yeah, the nope, that would work. <laughs> you, could, you could throw both of them, because it says you attack twice as an attack action. A ranged attack is an attack action, so... Yep. Okay. Um, I am reading. I will attack recklessly, because I don't have advantage otherwise. So I'm going to use Sasha's... Can I, can I use Sasha's special when I'm not attacking with her? I don't know. What is her special? Sorry, what, what was that? What is, what is her special you're trying to use? Oh, uh, I can one choose one person who doesn't need advantage. Anyone in a purple robe. Um, 
Does it just say when you attack recklessly? Um. He's not gonna realize that until Captain reads the. How do I find Sasha's special things? There we go. Okay. Um. Yes. When you use the reckless attack feature. Then yeah, I would say unless it specifically says, because I don't think Sasha specifically says with her. So since you're attuned to her, then yes, anytime you use reckless attack, you'd you'd get that. Okay, I'm gonna attack recklessly against. Uh, I guess the first mirage I see. Let's just do one attack at a time. Well, you just you just attack, uh, and then I roll to see if it's the mirage so or the ascendant. There, and at this point, there are three mirages. You there see? are three altogether. So yes. it's a mirage. Well, there are, there are two mirages in the real ascendant. Yep, I'm just gonna start on the left because you know the shell Thanks game. For hearing me. So uh, first one, I'm gonna roll with advantage. <laughs> Thanks for hearing me and dismissing me. Oh damn! Oh, this one did not hit, probably. Uh, uh, 12 does not hit. Mirage yeah, okay. So, second one, I'm Mirage just gonna go ahead and do the left one, most one again. Because why not? Alright. Um, this I'm one you too, don't I'm get just, advantage like on, right? Better. Write it up. Uh, why wouldn't I? I thought it was just the first attack. Um. Alternate episode title, Mirage with Toi. Mirage with Toi. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, sorry, hold on just a second, Grelda. The the episode title has officially been changed. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a really... Like, um, okay, oh, so it says when you make so... your first attack on the turn... Okay. It doesn't say your first attack action, it's your first attack. So I would say you okay. don't get the bonus after that first roll. Alright. Just by the way it's worded. 19. 19 hits. Oh, Alright, right. so hold on a second before you roll damage or anything. Okay. Um, so there, there's the Mirage, there's the Mirage <laughs> Trois going on. So I need to roll an 8 or a higher. To hit a duplicate and not the real assignment. That is a 15. That's why it looked weird. I was creating the R. Okay. Yeah, I was creating the R. Okay, and so yes, another, it is, uh, as you, as you throw the hand axe, you aim for the leftmost one, and it actually goes right through its chest, and the entire mirage wavers for a second and then a vanishes, trois. and the mirage of trois is gone. Mirage duh. Mirage. Oui, c'est oui. correct. Oui, oui. C'est correct en français. Mirage <laughs> duh. Me. Right. I am pretty sure that's all I got. Mirage <laughs> pun. Mirage toi. All right, so it is the ascendant's turn now. He does not appreciate puns. Mirage oh. moi. Mirage. All right, so hold on. Let me let me roll to see if he gets back his super awesome ability. Maybe not got back. He does not got back. Nice. I denied this false prophecy. <laughs> How far does that go? Well, I mean, he lost Ooh, his okay. mirage okay. of trust, so Ooh, he's, he can't okay. take it anymore. Well, wow. hundred feet long. Limit. All right, so actually. Um, the Ascendant first is his bonus action. He's going to send two more of the, uh, like Minute Meteors. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> He's going to send two of the Minute Meteors out. Uh, one is going down and hitting it's going Geisen. Down. Wait, it is... Those, I believe, are... Within 120 feet, so yes. That one is hitting, um... Geisen and Tarnin. So I need both of you to give me a dexterity saving throw. And then Gendrick. A dexterity saving throw. Uh, hold on a sec. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop my sense of bitches. Hold on. Um I gotta go back and look at the campaign chat. Sorry. No, that's fine. I'm looking at the card to see do they have to be in range of me for me to take the hit? Oh, come at me, bro? What does the come at me, bro say? Uh, come at me, bro, is just force an enemy in range to change the target of an attack to yourself. Attack is made with disadvantage. Enemy in range. 
Um, I would say you can't use that because this is not an attack. You have to roll a saving throw, so you can't like disadvantage him okay. well, because he's not. What was that? It's not an attack. It's damage, but like he doesn't roll attack, so he can't have disadvantage on an attack he's not rolling. Fair so I, I would say this is kind of this. I would say this one is a gray area, but I would say you couldn't use the card on this one because he can't have disadvantage because he doesn't roll. You guys roll. Point of order. Hmm. I used my um, uncanny dodge. Mm -hmm. You called it an attack. I should said, I, like, should I, said, I take this, that back? No, I, this is kind of a, a gray area. Okay. This is one where I'm just kind of making a judgment call as a DM. So I just, don't so, add damage to me or do add damage to me. We're going to keep what happened before. Roger that. Can I'm just going to call good. Got it. And I just won't say the come at me bro doesn't work with this because I'm going to say it's not an attack for that purpose. But it is for that purpose because I can see the attack. yeah yeah gotcha. like okay. I said this is and this is this is really like kind of a gray area so I'm just kind of making judgment calls here. Yeah, yeah. Krelva would totally have used that card for you, Tarnan. Sorry. No worries, no worries. Oh, I remember so, that I'm dead in heaven. Um, Tarnan. Yeah. What did you roll? Uh, like really low, ten. Ten. All right. And Geisen. You ready to grab that card? Because you might have to grab that card like right now. I can't. I couldn't hear you. What was that? 12. 12? Okay. Then you both take 11 fire damage. But you have the robe, so you get it halved. And I get to use Uncanny Dodge? So you get it half, so it's 5 damage. 5 fire damage to both of you. Can you? And then, um, Gendry, what'd you get? That's an 11. 11? Yeah, Alright, so yeah. you also take 11 fire damage. 11 was halved? No, for Gendry. Oh, God. Okay. Because he failed the saving throw. I have fire resistance. Oh, okay. Then it does happen. I'm sorry. Okay. So it is five. Five for all y'all. Nice. All y'all. Another shot for all y'all. Oh, man. All right. Okay. So, and just because, why not? Um, he is going to, the Ascended is going to kind of raise his hand up, bring it down, and just point straight. Like, right at Grelda, and then pass Grelda, right to Gendrick, and cast Lightning Bolt. Oh. And uh, a stroke of lightning forms in his palm, and forming a line 100 feet long, 5 feet wide, and each creature must make a dexterity saving throw. I would like to remind, take this opportunity to remind everybody that we have the block attack card, Play card is your reaction. Increase AC or save by amount equal to your proficiency for an attack. Use before damage is given. Do you guys think that you're uh, rolled? No? So it's not worth it? It's not going to help me. Alright, so we're not using it then? Uh -huh. Okay. My four. Oh, I'm not what the hell? Of that. Oof. Mm. Ah, oh. Good God. So you both failed? Two or did you roll yet? Yeah. I fold tail really bad. I think folding works with that roll. Yeah, I fold it. I fold. <laughs> I fold. I fold as well. I get two threes. How do you get two threes? I mean... M magic? <laughs> non dexterous. Oh, oh, it's magic. You know. <laughs> Alright, so then you both, you both um, take... It's eight d6 lightning damage. They're all rolled once. Oh, uh, pretty low. Oh, okay. Um, it's twelve lightning damage to both of you. Oh, oh. that is crazy low. What was that, Grilda? Halved. Um, do you have resistance against lightning? No, but I'm raging, so I have resistance against everything except psychic. Individual. Is it everything except psychic? Okay. Yep. Okay, then it's uh, what did I say? Twelve. Six to you. Twelve to you. Um, that was his bonus. That's all right. Um, then his turn is over, and Gendrick, you're up. So it may not be. I'm, I'm just going to be the card pusher right now. <laughs> but it may at this point, it may not be a bad idea to designate somebody that we want to have use this regenerate card. But, you know, oh. as somebody who doesn't need to use it right now... 
Okay. Does oh, anyone want to meta game for a second? Because Grella would. She's pretty low for herself. I feel like these cards, What's by up? definition, are very meta game. Are we allowed to meta game a little bit about that card right now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. May I suggest giving it to Turner because Turner may not be able to out heal all the damage this effort is doing, but if you drop, as long as you're within 60 feet of me, I can immediately use a bonus action and bring you back uh, 1d6. Yeah, I, it doesn't so do me a lot drop, of good given that I'm split. But class. you get right back up. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, you guys are going to drop a lot, but I can bring you back up. It. I think Kendrick is, is going to Hello. be so dazed by the lightning bolt that instead of taking the time to actually think about using such an ability, is just going to instead cast Scorching Rays yeah. with four beams. At the ascended or descended? Ascended. Let's the ascended. I was hoping we it, can make it him depends, descended. It depends. It depends <laughs> on this rolls. I mean, maybe he'll be descended. All right. So what? No. What is the uh, ascended? Because my it notes is a range spell. So it's just it's in, at level three has four beams. Okay. So you just so make a range spell attack. I'm just gonna okay. attack four times, basically. So it's not the 24, 24 hits. In our mind. It's the axe oh, can you see it? Yep. Nineteen hits. 25 hits. So far, oh, so damn. Right. Come on. 21 hits. They oh, all yes. hit. All right. So they're each individual ray. So does that mean it's individual damage? Yeah, you would roll each individual. Okay. So this is fire. So if you... Let me see. Go! Oh. Three. Ray me fa... No. Three. Four, so we're at seven. Oh. Six. <laughs> That's 13 total. And then... I feel very Okay, so 18. 18 damage? Okay. Yeah. Does it die? <laughs> it's fine. It's what no. I was going for. Good. <laughs> no, but um, what, what was that? That was fire bolt? Scorching rays. Scorching, Scorching rays. rays. Oh, no. All right, so actually, like, after he pulls <laughs> back from the lightning bolt, that's when the the, uh, the scorching rays fly out. And actually, they, uh, they kind of form a box around Grelda. Like, two go over your shoulder, two go past your thighs and they all like they connect at the ascended at the exact same time and he actually shakes like he he doesn't he doesn't drop the uh the scales but he actually like has to stop and you see him like kind of catch himself and stand up and just shake it off uh, or is he shaking that booty shake like, he shook it like a salt shaker uh, so still staggered from the lightning bolt that he takes i'm going to take a step to one five foot step to the southwest just to be a little bit off access. Really big step. Um, yeah, one giant step for our kind. Kind. <laughs> right. um, And I'm going to take basically take a knee and look off to my, I guess, left? Yeah. Yeah, the west. Yep, um, left. That way. To the automaton, and I'm going to roll him forward right in front of the uh, gargoyle, and I'm going to shoot him with the. Right, right in front? Yeah, one. Like. Not? Right there? Yeah. Okay. I feel, well, I feel good about that. You're going to get a full unplug. Um, Nuclear detonation. Actually, that's three. a good question. Two. Uh, no, if if I detonated him, we people would take some splash damage. How far does the detonation go? 20 feet. Um, yes. Go around behind Sticky him. Wood. Go behind him. <laughs> no, you could. You, he no. only has cool, 15 cool. feet. 5, 10, 15. Okay, so if he went... Whoops. If he went here... He couldn't go that far, though. No, he couldn't. He that's, was direct. That's, that's twenty feet. He was right. In the, he was directly oh, above okay. Mickey. Oh, I, I, I hate to. No, you're you're to, right. From, like to say something. Uh, you to you would have you would have been within twenty feet anyway. Oh, okay. So it wouldn't it wouldn't have made a difference for that purpose. Okay. Can you? Uh, can, yeah. So I'll put him right uh, instead of detonating. Then you, is it? Oh yeah, you I'm right, gonna you use, already went over the fact you can't ready something like that. Not with him, like no. Okay. I'll, I'm going to use the uh, just his flamethrower. Just his flamethrower. Just his flamethrower. You know, All right. uh, so that gargoyle needs to take a 17 dex save. Maybe we oh. should call it flamethrower. Maybe we should call it warm hugs. So in a 15 foot cone of flame shoots out in the direction of the And you said a dex save? Yes. Oh, gargoyles are... It needs a cone of warm hugs. <laughs> <laughs> I like her version. Let's do that from here on out. It's a 19. Oh. Some of the beaches? Let's see what happens on a... Fire. I stopped using that. Is it half on them? I it, think so. It's a big one. Yeah, it's a big one. I'm, I'm reading. And you use whatever you gotta use, dude. I stopped using the one that was 15s every time. I, I think for all the fire things, I think it's half dice. on a... It probably field, is. So I think we should make it my dice. Yep, go ahead. 16, 16, 16 half to 8. You think so? 
There's a reason I use the electronic. Oh, okay, so the the got new ones. not R two D two puts a uh, just like opens its front spout of like font of flame comes out and it just like you see it curling it's around the gargoyle. You don't see the gargoyle little, little, like little, it doesn't little, react little. Right? almost at all. But it does. Instead do of damage. willow, it was Lilo. Nice. And that yeah. concludes my turn. Lilo. All right, then Tarnan. Lilo. What? Lilo, you're up. Followed by Sanishi next. Mother trucking. Okay, see this table corner over here? Sure. Will, from that point, I'm 60 feet from the Ascended, and I can still see Icky. Yes or no? Right here? Can I still see Icky? Uh, yes. Okay, cool. Are you that? 60 feet from the Ascended? Uh, well, from that spot I am. Yes, you are. 55. Even better. Okay. From that position... Girl is not close enough, so it doesn't matter, and I move, so I can't use the bonus, so it's just gonna be regular shots. Uh, non bonusified. Not non advantageified? Non advantageified. Okay. Shot, shot. Because you Wait. have, you have oh. advantage cards. Yeah, but I think we used them. We have one inspiration card, we That's have one regenerate card, we have one block attack card, oh. and we have one command group. Card. Does anyone have a problem with turning using the re the uh, regenerate card right freaking meow? Right meow? As long as it's right meow and not right now, it's fine. I'm using it right meow. Right. Okay. Then that's fine. Which half gives your hit dice half your proficiency rounded up. So it's For multi-class, so take a your so half 16. So okay. half your hit die? Yeah. Rounded up. Half my hit die. Is that what it said? Yeah, it's, it says... Regain hit dice equal to half your proficiency rounded up. Okay, so two. So hit what dice. that reads to me is if your proficiency is say five, okay. then you okay. get um, three hit dice. You of you are you are correct, but it says regain hit dice, not regain hit points. Right. Oh, hit so dice yeah. are what you use during a short rest to regain hit points. Right. So, so you oh. get them back, but you don't get hit points because you have to use hit dice. During a short during rest. A rest. What does it say? It says regain hit dice. When you when you when you take a short rest, you are you can use any number of hit dice it's to regain hit points. When you take a long oh, rest, okay. you regain half of your used so hit dice. So this is less useful than than you thought. Much less useful. Much less useful. All right, then. <coughs> we are the screwed. All right. <laughs> so if you had the chance to take, if you would have taken a short rest. And used five hit dice. Right. You could regain X number back for your next short rest. Understood. Cool. No problem. Continue on. I'm just gonna rip this card up right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, some of them are awesome, and some of them are just, just situationally awesome. Which sounds very yeah. much like, hey party, fuck you. <laughs> so, just verifying that from where I'm at, every one of my peoples are within sixty feet of me. Because I'm within uh, 60 feet of the Ascended. believe so. Yep. Icky is the only one that... Yep. I would Glorious. Say everybody except not R2-D2. Glorious. Okay. What are you fucking? Whoa. I will attack the Ascended in normal style. <laughs> Put the boots it's, in. It's weird gross. I've never style. done just normal. Normal style. Oh. And I roll a one. I roll a one for the first shot. <laughs> and I use, I use, I use, I mean. No, no, wait. You already, right. you already rolled. You already rolled. You gotta use that before you roll. Right. That's the only, that's like the only thing I mentioned okay, on that on. one. Carry on. Um, I will say, all right, so you, 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 as you move, you pull out your hand crossbow, you aim it at you aim it at the ascended, and as you're pulling the trigger, you bump into the table, and your your hand crossbow literally shoots straight down and the crossbow bolt just like splits into like sixteen pieces and just shoots all over the place. One not recoverable. Yes. <laughs> because I don't want to use we are to the point where all of the uh, the negative effects in the critical miss deck can get really bad, so that's why we stopped using them. Okay. Um, reload fire. All right, are you going to use the card? Yeah, I'm going to use right, advantage. <sighs> Gee, boss, criminy. Um, 21? That hits. Okay, cool. I'll take the 21. 
Um, as I had it. Hold on. The the uh, I gotta I gotta roll the the, the menage dose. <laughs> the menage dose. The menage dose. I must get an eleven or higher. That's a nineteen. So that's a miss. Okay, got it. Uh, no. Oh yeah, it's a miss for you. Yes. But the other mirage is gone. Is it now a mirage? You know, and we know who it is. Is a mirage zero? Yeah. There's only okay. the, there's only the ascendant. So yes, there as, is no mirage. As you only the only zool. So as you as you you you, you, you come back from from your your bump and you're shooting into the ground. And you aim, shoot at the ascended, and as the bolt is flying, you just hear this laughter in your in your ear as the bolt just goes through a vision and the mirage dissipates. And it's cool. Harnan finally speaks up, says, "The light's still gonna kick your ass. Shut the fuck up." <laughs> Perhaps and if you beg now, my lord will show mercy. Anything else you would like to do? I won't have the same mercy on him. <laughs> I just love how you're... Everyone, even if they don't have any sort of emotive abilities. Yeah, that's true. Even if they don't have any sort of emotive abilities. Uh, bonus action, I'm going to try to prevent my future death. And use healing light on someone I can see within 60 feet of me. Me! <laughs> <laughs> you look down at your feet and cast healing light. Heal my left Mirror, mirror, in my shoe. Show me where. Are you fucking kidding me? Go. Heal, heal. Show me where to heal you. I gained six. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> hey, that's awesome. is six, yeah. Yeah, mirror, mirror in my six. shoe. Show Same me how to heal you. Shall go to who? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Then this concludes my broadcast day. All right, then, Sunny. Lars, what time are you leaving tomorrow? Now. Not early. Not early? Okay. So I just, I mean, if, if this goes late, of course, I'm not going to make everybody stay here till 2 in the morning, but just like, since this is pivotal, it's like, I just want to make sure nobody, nobody needs to jet in like 20 minutes if this keeps going. I mean, I do if we start looking like we're going to lose. Because <laughs> that'll give us a refresh of <laughs> cards. That'll give us a refresh on the cards. Yes. Okay. No, no. Yeah. Why would we do it that way, Bill? Because that would be I hate all how we've always done it. <laughs> Are we out of cards? Keep me oh, out of cards. I'm so tired. Oh. I'll see you in a month oh, with, with new cards. I am tired enough that Rolda's reactions are probably going to affect her intelligence level, so we're good. <laughs> all right, uh, Sunishi, what you got? Uh, I... Fucking dice. And, am. and then Geisen, you're next. I hate dice. So, I think I'm going to say that I'm a little concerned about the uh, Ascended. Uh, to the point where I'm going to step back and... Ah, shit, I really can't get to freaking anything, can I? Um... Okay, no. You, you could get within melee range of the gargoyle. Can't you? Yeah. I, I do have 40 yeah. feet now. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. She's still has 10 movement. Alright, I will move up in front of the gargoyle then. And, uh... Alright, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 20, 30. I thought the gargoyle was the movie thing. It is. 30. Oh, okay. So 5, 10, 15, or 5. You, I thought I could cut a corner where the DM disagreed. Yeah. Oh, well, no, I also that, have, that, that's not a, yeah, but the she's doorway got, is there. She's, still, like, she's she, got 40 movements. I have 40 oh, movements. Oh, so you're fucking yeah. either way. Oh, not on top of the well, yeah. you're not going to She it. smothers it. I, I smother it with love. You're with love. love. You thought you were going to hug me? I'm going to hug you. Okay. Uh, great. You big <laughs> I'm going to attack him. 25. 25 hits. And, oh, cool, cool, cool. This would be 11 damage for that one. Okay. Attack him with my other hand. Oh, 16? 16 does not hit. 
balls. Do you have any new fun things that make things <laughs> more and funner? Not really at this point. Um, All right, so that was your attack. And there's my attack, your, my other attack. So I'm, you have your bonus action to either attack or if you have or a spell. Or do a thing, right. Do the thing. So you walk up to the gargoyle. And your first one, as you as you come down across its chest, you do actually like you see pieces of rock chip off, and you kind of smile and let out like a a, a a laugh. And as you come up with the other one, two of its arms come down and grab your wrist, and then just throw your arm to the side. Um, is are things like second wind? Is that a like a bonus action? What does it say? It literally says second once per short rest you can use a oh huh, yes you can use a bonus action never mind i thought i read that and didn't see the word yeah so action. you can use your bonus action for uh so i think i am going to do the second wind and mm-hmm. give myself a uh one d10 plus eight hp and that just that's a max right um, or do you have to roll the it, it's one d10 plus eight action sir Action so four plus eight would be twelve more healy points for me. All right, and just so you know, since I'm looking through your thing, you have Savage Attacker. Once per turn, when you roll damage for a melee weapon attack, you can re-roll the weapon's damage dice. Oh, you're use right. Either total. I keep forgetting to do that. I even like at the beginning of the session. I looked at. It, I'm like reminder. I need to do that. Uh, but I'm content with that What's 11 that? damage. This is fine. not a... This is absolutely not a fight. Sorry, this is not fight music. What the hell is this crap? All of a sudden, growled in the ascended, lock eyes. <laughs> oh, I was just saying, it, it heard me say I'm planning to hug the gargoyle, so it's just setting the mood. Maybe it was just a Oh, I'm setting the mood for Titan. The ascended catches an, an intoxicating aroma. It says, what? What is that? Grelda uncorks a flagon of ale. Or how does she uncork a flagon? I don't know. Oh. Don't ask. Just go with it. The ascendant falls deep into her eyes, and they share. No. Grelda, no! You are my bartender, Grelda! <laughs> Alright, so how much uh, did you heal? I healed, I, I healed for 12 hours today. Not the time. cinnamon beer! I, if anyone's interested, I am approximately looking to be uh, 33.33. 33.3. Alright, in that case, uh, Geisen, you are off. 10, 15, 20, 20, 30. Uh, okay, I don't remember exactly where the nails yeah. are. Yeah. Um, they would be right around here. I think I turned that. pings off, well, but right around this area. I mean, once oh, I can't no. see it. No, hold on. Right around here? <laughs> Good oh, there that. Yeah, right around there. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry, it doesn't look like pings are turned on. I thought pings were on. It's one of those, hey, pings you're a big dumb fighter. On. What do you know? We'll let you die once. Dyson, <laughs> kill the ascendant! I'll forgive you, I promise! Yes, and that reset <laughs> on purpose. Give him a nose boop for me. Boop. There we go. Right around there. Okay, now you can move. Boop, boop him. Boop him. Boop, boop, boop the kitty for me. Boop, see you Boop kitty. his snoot. Boop. Um, so I think that's more than 30, 30 from being able to attack the gargoyle. From the gargoyle, yes. It would be... Well, but like... 10 feet too short. 20. Yep, yeah, 10 feet too short. Oh, some 30 feet north. Uh, Alright, hold on. I thought I had. Aha! I do have. I do have something for this. Where is that? Where is that? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Sorry, this is... Being dumb! I'm moving the door. I'm moving the door. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. There we go. Then we... Boom! There we go. So, 30 feet north? Yeah. 
the house. Bellingham. For my action, um, I'll cast Hush's Mind Whip. Oh. It's a piece of Ah, yes. So that's a intelligence of 17. Exactly. Ah, yes. 17, you said? Alright. Yeah. Let's find out. Intelligence. That's a 26. reach your hand out and you see his head just kind of like jerk back a little bit and you see a, a like a red mark across his white mask for a second and then it kind of fades anything else we'd like to do good sir Power word. what was that kill <laughs> That's, it. That's it. That's it? Alright, then it is Le, Le Gargoule's turn. Oh, man. Alright. Well, it's Anishi, oh, since you're right there. Goliath, that was his name. The Gargoyles TV show. Right? Yes. yes. Goliath was the, the main gargoyle. Yes. That's the only name I can remember offhand. Brooklyn was the dog. Brooklyn was the dog. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, man. Okay. Bronx was the Bronx. Bronx. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so the gargoyle makes uh, so it is going to make a claw attack against an Ishii for that's 13. Uh, 13 damage or 13? 13 to hit. 12 to hit. 11 to hit. 28 to hit. That one hits. And 22 to hit. So it would hit with two of them. Or don't, you know, whatever. Uh, I don't know how your health's looking, so. And my health is looking better. I don't know how much damage this guy's been doing, though. Um, he hasn't. I, what is that? Oh, he Which hasn't. Is that? This is the uh, block attack. Okay. Um, what did they do? I don't remember. Uh, play card is your reaction, which I don't think I have a reaction. You do. Have a reaction. Oh, I do. You always have increase it. AC yep. or save by amount equal to your proficiency so for an four. attack. What is your proficiency? Uh, four. Four. Okay. What would that increase your AC to? That would increase my AC to twenty. That so would not work. That would not help for me. Yeah. They were twenty-two and twenty-three. Twenty-two and twenty-three. Yeah. So that's All not right. good. In that case, uh, you do take. 18 slashing damage okay. from the two that hit you. The two that hit me? So, oh, yeah. it just, yeah, it right? just super quick, like, like Goro in the Mortal Kombat movie. One of his arms just, do, 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 just really quick. You do manage to get your axes up to, to push, like, two of them away, but the other two come down on your sides and just, like, you hear your ribs, a couple ribs snap as it hits. And its fifth attack is actually going to take a bite attack against not R2-D2, And not, and it's gonna 15? A little low. I don't know what not R2D2's AC is. Oh, sorry, I was reading next. A <laughs> little low. What is not R2D2? Little low. Uh, it was 15 to hit. I'm pushing this name as long as I can. I wanna say it's 15. I'm checking right now. I feel like I heard 15 earlier, but. I'm really good at making shit up, too. Five. <laughs> Yeah, give me two seconds. If I mm-hmm. can't find it, I'll, uh... Oh, 18. 18? Oh, okay. So, so after he hits Anishi, the guy leans down and just, like, opens his jaws and takes a bite at not R2-D2. And R- your R2-D2, like, backs up in here. You hear just, the, like, the little the whistle sound that I'm not going to try and make. 
That might be copyrighted. Yeah. As he backs up. And his turn is over. So it would be Icky's turn, but before Icky's turn. Oh god. Before Icky's turn. Gorelda! I need you to make Oh, never mind. Cool. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Um The Ascended is going to cast Power Word Stun on Grelda. Um, uh, you speak a word of power that can overwhelm the mind of one creature you can see within range, leaving it dumbfounded. If the target has 150 hit points or fewer, it is stunned. What? So, otherwise... Save? Come on. No, there's, there's no save against this. You can make a constitution oh, saving throw at the end of each of your turns. Oh, that power word. Oh, it's... Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. It's a level 8 spell. Are you going to try and counterspell it? Yeah. It is a level 8 spell. So what do you need to roll to counterspell it? It can't be worse than a natural 20. Hmm. I would have to look at counterspell to see what it is. But it's, yeah, it's like... Please don't, please. I want to murder. <laughs> I also want her to murder. I do too. I feel a lot yeah, of murder coming out of that little body. The, uh, the way they've kind of changed the uh, the creatures, the monsters in fifth edition, is instead of having the same kind of like um, spell level spell slots yeah. as the players do, now it's um, certain amount of times per day that the spells can be used. So like they have a gotcha. like a twice per day, and then the list of spells once per day, the list of spells three times per day, and like so, this is in the once per day. So it's not like he has eight level spell slots. It's just, he can cast this list of spells once each per day. Which I find interesting and much easier for the DM to keep Manage. track of. Yeah, that makes sense. So what you got, Lars? Can you remind me, what's my spellcasting... Is it a plus about five modifier that's at the beginning at the top of the spell list? It sounds familiar. Yes. Uh, the one under save DC is what they have to roll. Yeah, you have a plus five modifier. Does this make an ability check using your spellcasting ability? So, yeah, I don't know. Well, let me pop in and take a read. Is that a. What level are you casting it at? Just so I'm. Oh, uh, there's Counterspell. You attempted it. Uh, the DC equals 10 plus the spells level, so your, your difficulty check is 18. Um, make an ability check using your spell casting ability. That would be... Yeah, it's either, what, a d20 plus 5 for him? Well, your spell casting ability is intelligence. Oh. Yeah, plus 5. So, so, uh, plus plus five, five, but. Oh, yep. So you roll a d20 plus five, and you have to do 18 or more because it's an eighth level spell. So you need a 13 or higher, buddy. Uh, oh, yeah, before you roll. Yeah, before you roll. <laughs> we might have. Oh, you already one. used it. Never mind. No. No. Nope. nope, you already rolled it. Well, no, you don't have any. You don't have any anyway. You used the last one. Oh, yeah, I did. All right, so no go, sir. No go. That's uh, not an ability check or a saving throw, right? No, that isn't. That is no. No flash of genius for me. Oh, hold on, hold on. That's an ability check. I think it might be an ability check. Let me let me read the spell really quick. Because yeah, I have a reaction for flash of genius that I can use. Dude, that whole tarot card reading about teamwork. Here it is, right now. Yeah. <laughs> Make an ability check. Yes, it is an ability check. Do it. Do it. Uh, because we're kind of mitigating. I'm using Flash of Genius, so just add five to it, whether it is success or fail still. Uh, that would be 18. That would, <laughs> that would counterspell it then. That would be exactly what you need. Thank you, Gender. So, mark that off. Mark and that as, off. As, um, as the Ascended, he just... Um, so, 
just because I haven't read it in a little bit. What was her name? Which one? Her name. Her name. Do you remember oh, her name? Man. I don't remember her name offhand. I have. I don't have. I could check the email. Anyway, I'll check the email. But yeah. Um, it's you hear, um, Grelda in your mind. You're the only one that hears it. You hear her name. Um, Tarnan's ex fiance's name. She's never asked about that. She no, no she's never asked. Name. She's okay. never. I wouldn't say, like, you won't know it. I would, if I would have read this previously, Roger, gotcha. I would have said it out loud, and then you would know it. But you hear a female, a woman's name, and your entire body just locks up for a split second. And then, Geisen, you just, like, you snap your fingers as you wave your hand up. And, Tammy, you just, like, Grelda just, you shake your head. You have this name just kind of embedded in your brain. But your body's able to move again. That's good, because that would have stunned you. That would have been awesome. No, no, it would have been. Me. Sure, awesome. Yeah. Well, no, 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 I just want and to see Grelda go off. <laughs> as he's angry at Grelda, one will hit at Grelda, and then as he's angry at Geisen, the other one will hit at Geisen. Trailer mucker. So I need dexterity saving throws from Grelda and Geisen, but no one else, because you guys aren't huddled up like you were before. Exactly. <laughs> and he has, after these two fire out, he's got two more kind of floating around. Twenty one? Uh, Alright. Twenty one. Probably gets fancy. She's like cocky. <laughs> Guys. <Geisen? laughs> what was that? I'm sorry? Six. Six? Okay. So oh. That's a one and that's a four. So So Grelda that's five. Half is two. Half is one. So Grelda takes one fire damage. <laughs> Jesus! But that's the one that throws and her off the deep takes edge. Two fire damage. <sighs> oh, that's that's for one. Hold on, let me roll the other one. That's a four, and that's a six. That's ten. That's much much better. Okay, oh, guys, and you should take five more fire damage, and Grelda, you take two more fire damage. What? Because there were two that hit. Um. They hit. They got hit by two. No, I'm sorry. Two separate. No, it was two separate ones. Yeah. Okay. So, it take off that last one, Grelda. You don't get, and Geisen, the last damage that was incorrect. <laughs> the uh, they both filled up to hit full hit points. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what just happened. Grelda add. And Grelda add two, Geisen add five hit points back. That was a miss. I misspoke. Oh. I added two hit points back. Yep. Right. Yep. And then Geisen adds five back. I miss. I misspoke on that one. And then fifty back. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. And then Icky. It's your turn. Oh boy. Um. <clears throat> All right, I will move uh, behind. I will move to uh, to flank the uh, the gargoyle with Sinichi. And that's when you realize the mother of all gargoyles was still waiting in her room. <laughs> you mean it's the mother of all gargoyles? Always was. I mean, they do have four arms, so yeah, I would assume they can. Down. Given those, each of those arms has a th- hand with a thumb at the end, anyway, which we did I'm, not I'm get gonna, in the description. I'm gonna cut c- c- claw. Oh my god, Chrome! Why you do this? Why you? Do oh. This? Why you do this, Chrome? Oh, good. You rolled fifteen. Yeah, they just like wow, man. Like, yeah. My my browser just completely. I I honestly completely blame Discord. You you rolled it fucked up my computer too. Is there something better than Discord? Mm. Honestly, we might we might go back we to like. Google Meet. 
Well, Google Meet may have had some updates. Honestly, the only reason Google <sighs> the only reason Google Meet was an issue was just because when when I switched maps, it gave you guys problems. You're right. That was the only downside to it. Mm. And Discord is just like it's just wrecking our computers for whatever reason. Like when we're when we're sharing screens, yeah, it's, so it's the sharing that's it's killing it. It's the sharing it. that yeah. murders it. All right, so it was fifteen, which does not hit. Um. Um. I think seventeen is the cutoff for pit. How much is? Because uh, that's that's probably a little too meta gamey. What's up? Because yes. I have <laughs> an ability. That if D and D Beyond would let me scroll to it, um, I can. I believe it's I can spend a key point to add two to hit per key point. Well, anything that adds specific amounts to hit kind of meta gave me for a purpose. Well, I guess I'll just go ahead and use that because tie goes to the attacker. Yes. yes. Yep. So I'll go ahead and like and I'm trying real hard to scroll here. Nope, that's fine. Uh... I promise if we survive this, we'll hide in the corner. <laughs> oh, that's focus, just, focused aim. When you when it is when you miss with an attack roll, you can spend one to three key points to increase your attack roll by two for each of these key points. That's the one. Uh, potentially turning a miss into a hit. All right, so you rolled a fifteen. Dang. So one key point, put it to seventeen. Tie goes to the runner, so you hit. Cool. I have confirmed now that I have. I can do things in D and D Beyond. Then I have. Use that one key point, so that's a hit. Yeah, so I can roll damage. Yes, damage rolling. Oh lordy, that's nope. No, it looks like a nine on my screen, so that's going to be fourteen damage instead of eleven. <laughs> it's a, but I mean, it's, it's I know what. It's what? a D. It's a D eight. It can't be nine. Um, <laughs> so first hit is eleven damage. Eleven damage. All right. Second attack, absolutely hits. That's uh twenty one. Oh, there you go. That definitely hits. And we'll give that a nice nine damage. Nice. All right. You're going to attack again? Um. I guess it kind of depends on how it's looking after that. Like, if I have the the wherewithal to be able to parse between strikes, if it's like. If it's looking really rough, I'm gonna do it. Again. It's not looking really rough. Okay. I mean, you have definitely um, as you as you kind of you bring both your claws in in the downward X, Fuck and you you actually like cut and you see like the the rocks coming off of it. Cannot. I specifically moved to the other side of it to get advantage, and then didn't roll with advantage. You are correct. You did not. Our, I, I, roll. Go go ahead. Um, it will cut you a goat head. It's like, and Sean dies a little yeah. inside. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Roll one attack, and we'll see. Because the second one hit, the first one did not. It was a nat, it was 17 plus 9. All right, so take, like, your, take your key point back. All right, thank, thank you. Goat head. You're, you're, go ahead. You are. <laughs> I get, my, my punishment is... Go down. Can't actually fucking do anything. <laughs> <laughs> punishment is chrome freezing to the yeah, point you can't. You do can it. you can only take your key point back if D and D Beyond lets you. Chrome laughs. And so far, <laughs> no. Chrome, I know I haven't prayed to you. I don't have the tongue for it. All right. So are you going to? Um. Do so it. I get like consent. Yeah. I'll. You know what? I'm just gonna not even deal with the UI and say I'm gonna use that key point okay. to attack again. All right. Well, there we go. All right. So go ahead. Do your flurry of blows. Natural twenty. Oh shit! All right. So that's the D8. So it's a full eight plus whatever the first of the two rolls that D&D Beyond gives you. Okay. So rolling that. Yep. Whatever the first number is. Seventy-five. Eight plus six. It, all right. All right. So eight plus six and plus, plus five. five. So 19. four nineteen. Yep. Go math. Uh, you know. And that was for the first hit. That yep. Yeah, that was just the first one. All right. So roll the second. Oh, I can't see what that hit is. It's behind, behind the UI. Oh, Eleven. Eleven. You okay? So you get the 
like you you strike once and you actually like get across its neck and you feel under the rock you feel a little bit of flush as your claw comes across so you're you're feeling good about yourself feeling really happy and then you come up with your other one and the uh, the gargoyle just like catches your your claw in its fist and just like throws it back um i will leave it there that'll be my turn all right, well, in that case, um, Grelda, give me a charisma saving throw. Charisma uh, really? saving Oh, my goodness. Good lord. Oh, that's not. Oh, dear. Two. That is a two. Give it two. All right, so, uh, um, Grelda, the Ascended, like you, again, the mask is flat wipe. You just get the feeling that the Ascended is staring at you. And you get the the pins and needles feeling all over your body. And you are accosted by a very bright white light. And you blink back into existence on the other side of the room. No, it's... it's no! This is the worst. Okay, can you can you block that? Can you block that? No, because it's an ability. It's not a spell. Mother fucking sunza. What do you mean? Another side of the. It's too late to use like She's down. She's down here now. Okay. She's all the way down there. Okay. She was up here, but she is not. All right, and it is your turn, Grelda. Oh, that's right. As you pop back into existence. She's gonna look at the gargoyle and she's gonna say, "Hey, Grelda, you gotta go back to your room." Yeah, back to my room. You could uh, use your so you could use your action as an additional movement if you really wanted to get back at him. Uh, I might have the ability to make you move a little bit faster. Uh, you know, if I was as able a to. Reaction or? Nope, I have to oh. prep it and get shit all ready for it. So if you wait a turn or two. I'm heading back after the ascended. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, I just dropped my ascended. Too invested in this story. Y'all seem like you got the gargoyle situation well in hand, so... Ten. I'm just, I'm picturing you like a yo-yo right now. Just woo, woo. I know. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. 20, what is your movement? 20. She's got a lot of movement. So I have 35 feet for my normal speed, so... 35. All right, so this is 35. Use your your action. Are you, are you gonna, are you gonna dash? You're gonna use your action to... I am. Um, I, I have, have a javelin, javelin but. Uh, yeah. How far away from the line? What if you tied? Like, what if you tied Sasha to the red javelin? You are forty feet away from him. Tied Sasha. I'm forty feet. Forty feet. So my next turn, I could be right up next to him. Right up next to him. Yes. I'm gonna throw a javelin. Okay. Yeah. Right next to him. Yes. Gonna throw a javelin. All right. Go ahead. All right. All right let's. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack recklessly as I can, right? Even with range spells? Um, yes, I believe so. Okay, okay. Grelda's not really super used to not attacking Sasha. So, um, I'm gonna use the Great Weapon Master Attack. I'm gonna attack recklessly, and I'm gonna say that the Ascendant cannot have advantage against me. Oh, yeah? No, can I declare that too? Did you roll with advantage for that last thing where he, like, teleported me? Did, no, he didn't no, roll, no, you rolled. Roll. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll, roll with advantage on the javelin because I no longer have any of my hand axes. Okay. Right. Oh, that's a eighteen. Eighteen just hit. <laughs> How did there, Tim? <laughs> All right. We have. 13 damage. Okay. Purple roll bitch on a stick. <laughs> All right, 13 damage. So, Grelda, after blipping into existence on the other side of the room, this little dwarf just like, and it's like, it's it's straight out of the Olympics. She pulls out the javelin and she's running and she's like, very dangerous over short distances. They are. <laughs> and it just like the javelin goes like up 
arcs down and just digs like right into the the upper the upper hip of the ascended, and he kind of pulls it out and drops it to the ground. But you see you see blood like dripping out of it. Just picturing an Ace yes. Ventura moment. Right there, I was yeah. right there. Right there. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, in that case, maybe I could shoot him in the leg too. <laughs> All right. It is the ascendant. Oh. Turn. He is gonna see if he gets back his super awesome. Oh, he does. No, he doesn't. Oh. Damn it. I think you read the dice wrong. Just try again. It sounded like he was about to say he gets back his super awful ability where he awful. just kills himself immediately. <laughs> that sounds right. It backfires. <laughs> a super awesome ability backfires to a super awful oh, ability. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh. All right. Ten foot radius. Yeah. You know what? This would be a lot easier if you guys would group up. I mean, we would be slightly more grouped if you hadn't, like... No, no, wait, never mind. Yeah, yeah, we would be. All right, you know what? You know what? All right. So, the Ascended raises his hand, closes his fist, brings it down, and a vertical column of fire roars. Like it, You see this, like, circle of fire on the ceiling above Tardin, and then just a column of flames comes straight down. Right at you, and I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Some of the beaches. I can't give you a plus five because I already used my reaction. Sorry. I will take the twenty-six. Twenty-six is successful, so you only take half as much damage. Uh, uncanny dodge. I think you can. Yeah. So they take half as half as much damage. Actually, that would negate it from my understanding of the reading here. What was the second? Let me, let me pull it up so I don't misread it. <laughs> Actions, uncannies, the dodge. It's not in there either. Fuck. Have the attacker's damage against you, so no, it would only be quartered. Quartered? Oh. Drawn and quartered. All right, in that case, one, six, 12, 13, one, 24, 27, half is 13, half six. again is six. So you take three fire and three radiant damage. Radiant. Radiant. It is split between the two. Fuck, I don't have that yet. That's next level. Radiant doesn't do any damage to me next level. Right, and then his bonus action, his other two minute meteors are going to come out. Um, one is going to go at Grelda, and one is going to go at Tarnan. So I need both of you... Oh, I don't have a reaction anymore. ...to make... Dexterity saving throws. Twenty-nine, natural twenty. Oh, there you go. Four, two, six. Twenty-three for me. Twenty-three. <laughs> All right. So you both take three fire damage. Oh wait, no, you both you both exceeded. So it's three fire damage and one fire damage. <laughs> These are much less uh, much less successful than us. Also. Getting really lucky in all the meteor throws. Yes, yeah, really really I am not complaining really at good. all. I have been over a minute. I mean, you know. Yeah. Mm. Next fire. Mm. All right. Well, in that case, Kendrick, you're up, and Tarnin's on deck. I would like to move not R two D two five feet to the that would be west because I wanted to shoot at the gargoyle and not burn anyone next to it. Alright, that will... 
So that gargoyle will need to make a dexterity right. saving throw of 17. Gargoyles are known for the, their dexterity. Mm. Ah, that's a four. Okay. So he takes 12 fire damage. So again, you see the fire engulf the creature, and um, some of the gargoyle skin is starting to turn black and char. And it is definitely looking a lot rougher than it was when it walked through the door. Yeah. Um, all right, so now what I'd like to do is move Gendrick as his main action. would like to move to the northwest to basically get against that wall. The northwest. Like fully diagonal northwest? Yes. Like up here? Uh, I want to be within 60... So I have 30 feet of movement, and I want to be within 60 feet of the ascended. You're right there where you're at. So. Okay. Yep. Nice. You are within sixty feet. Perfect. I'm going to cast Web, and Web conjures a mass of thick, sticky webbing at a point of your choice within range. The web fills a twenty-foot cube. I would like that cube to basically this. What would that be? The southernmost edge of the cube would be where he is, back. So I don't want the web in front, I just want web behind. Okay. So if we could throw a 20-foot web cube there, and then I will have a dexterity saving throw for him as well. Um, there so, is a note here like, too. Yeah. Yes, there is a note here that says if the web has to be anchored between two points. Oh god. Nice. I've those columns. Would you count as a web? Would that be a yeah. cool enough web? Okay. Thank you. I would say that. So we'll do. Oh, not quite that far forward. We can do that. Okay. All right. So it is a dexterity saving throw. It is a dexterity saving throw to see if he gets stuck in the web. Alright, that is a 10, but um, his legendary resistance, he is going to, if he fail, if Ascended fails a saving throw, he can choose to succeed in this one. I'm what? Choose to yeah, succeed. he gets three or four of them. Three. Dang it. Um, but you burned one up, and that's important. And the web is permanent, like it stays there. The web is also flammable, so. Yes, we know this. Oh. It's a flammable web. Oh no, wait, that was grease. Yeah, that's, yeah, we know Grease is flammable. We know very much that Grease is flammable. Uh, mm. So we'll say that each creature that starts its turn... It says, it says each creature that starts the turn in the web or enters them during its turn has to make the throw. Um, so I guess technically that wouldn't even have triggered until the next... Oh, it just does it. Yeah. It says each creature that starts its turn in the webs or that enters them during its turn... That's the dexterity throw. So it, it, even we might we might want to say like it's all webbed, but he's not. He wouldn't even have to use the legendary action right away. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Hey, can I borrow that power real quick? Yeah, I'm. I'm at all. All right. Are you done? That completes my turn. Then so. Tarnin is. I was trying to get him restrained, and uh, well, I have some. You want to put that behind you, or should you just leave where it is? Um, it's your call. It's we don't have a lot of length. Just okay. leave it where it is. It's, it's you cool. got it, man. Thank you. Let's see if this works. Yay! Thanks. Excellent. Cool. All right. Um, Shaz Bot. Icky's not out of range now, isn't he? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 45, 50, 55, 60. Yeah, so I need to move. Uh, let's go south and west. Uh, 15 feet. So I'm not lined up with. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Put me here, please. 
Three squares west, one square south. No, that's not what I wanted to do. And from there, will I be able to, <laughs> I can't see it, can I? Three squares west, one square south. No, you would not be able to see it. will be coming back your way as soon as our gargoyle is down, and it's going to be down pretty soon. You forgot to say, ho, 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 ho. Okay. Um, Otherwise, how we'd know it was Icky talking. That's right, that's right, that's right. I will... Use my ring... to cast... a cure on myself. Giving me one D8 plus four. Well, I mean... Apparently I heal for shit each time I try to heal myself. But that still damn near doubles my points. And that's my movement, my action, my bonus action. Sorry, hold on. That screen is really annoying. Yeah, I like keep thinking you've got like a cat or dog in that laundry room, in that other room. It's like That's the porch. Actually. Yeah. Okay. It's outside. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm. Yeah, it's I, like that's, that's the laundry room. That's the other. Yeah, I keep thinking I hold, you got an animal out there. I hold my. Oh, no, can can't. I hold my bonus action in case somebody drops? So healing light reads as you have blah 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 healing pool blah 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 blah. As a bonus action, you can heal one creature you can see within sixty feet. So basically, I'm like, I. You know what? I think you can. Okay. I am holding that bonus action specifically. If anyone drops down, I bring. The, I'm going to use the healing light. All right. Anybody you can see drops down to, or just if, drops. If they, if they go unconscious. All right. Um, when you ready a spell like that, yeah. if it comes back to your turn and the conditions haven't been met, the spell gets used. This isn't a spell, though. It's an ability. It's a spell from your ring. So you're readying a spell. No, 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 no. I used the spell from my ring on me, so. but the healing light is a bonus action ability. Okay. And is it like a numbered ability? Like you only have so many of them to use? Yes. Okay. So either either the number will get ticked off because the spell get, because that ability gets used. If it's an ability... Never mind. If it's an ability, it wouldn't. That okay. only works. That only happens for spells. Never mind. Because then I would choose to use zero dice. You can use a maximum of. Okay. Then, but no, I, it's it's when you ready spells as a ready to action. Okay. Those of you. So I would say that would. Okay. okay. So if anybody drops, you can see. Okay. Anything else you would like to do? Uh, no, that will conclude my broadcast day. All right, then, Sanishi, you're up. All right. I am going to do an attacky attack on the uh, gargoyle. Oh, okay. Yeah, if I'm in my Which right you spot have for advantage it. for now because yes. Good, because that one did not happen. Let's go with twenty-seven. That definitely <laughs> works. And that one is going to hit for eleven damage. Okay. Do my second hand. Wait, 18, I think it's, is it 18 and 20? 18, 19, and 20, or just 19 and 20? I think it's going to be under Futures and Traits. I think so, too. Ah, shit, 19 or 20. Okay. Uh, is the other one's 27. Okay. I got a little excited about that place. <laughs> <laughs> I've like never rolled a nineteen. Though. I think I, I think I rolled like three eighteens. I was like, does it trigger a thing? No, it doesn't trigger a thing. 
All right, and that one is <laughs> six damage. And right, so, 12, so that's seventeen HP. altogether. I'm going to use. I'm going to do one more attack on him. All right. Twenty-five. That hits as well. That's going to be eight damage. All right. So as you just recklessly swing your axes at the gargoyle, just like chunks of I'm its of its its body. Are just flying off, and you can see like pieces ended up being ended up missing, and it is it is starting to look rough, especially compared to when it came out. It is definitely like you can see the you can see the cracks and the just the chunks of its body missing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think that yeah, because that's my turn. That's my bonus action. Um, well, in that case, yep. guys, you are up, good sir. Bonus action to stick with the nails on. Alright. Dice on. Yeah, it must be a dice. Lars? Lars? Um, 17 does not hit. Okay, that, that is 41 damage. <laughs> How many ended up hitting? One. <laughs> Seven? <laughs> Alright. So, as, as the, uh, the web falls on the ground around the Ascended, he kind of looks down. That's when the, the pitons come flying at him and just, like, just burying themselves into his robe. And you can see the purple robe, where the pitons go in, become a deeper purple as the blood begins to come out. And he actually, like, instead of holding the, uh, the scales in his hand flat, as he had been doing this whole time, he actually grabs them and kind of leans forward. And then stands back up and... Kind of shakes himself out. Shake it off. Shake it off. I gotta stop saying that. You really do. I really do. Oh, and then... Oh, wait, never mind. That spell's gone anyway. All right, that was your bonus action, good sir. And now kill him with a fireball. See what that is? 60 feet? Of you? I'm at exactly. 60 yeah, I don't. I don't believe he is within sixty feet of you where you're at right no. now. No, he's within seventy feet. He's exactly seventy feet. Kind of in the middle, middle. so on the, on the same, same uh, horizontal as Gender, but over three, three the right. right. Yeah. Okay. Is that within sixty? Yes. Oh, look, it should be right in the center of being able to be hit in the AOE of three other players. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For the, how, how many do I have some stuff left in that? I have uh, 25. That was 5, 10, 15. That was 20. Yeah, I don't know if it's any better to go more. That would be your call. <laughs> you have too many cats. No. Well, we have the right amount of cats. Stay there? Okay. He's becoming one. That's my influence. Oh. <laughs> I used to have a cat that did that to me. You might what? I'm sorry, Lars? Uh, I just want to see you stand up and try yeah, it. I'll do the new total down. Um, so, so, wisdom 17. Wisdom 17? Alright. Knock her over. <laughs> that is exactly 17. It's okay. I love you, Mona. <sighs> Does that mean it worked? Or? No, that means he saved. <sighs> Anything else you would like to do, good sir?
No. Oh, sorry, I said that would be it. Oh, sorry, I did not hear you. All right, then it is the gargoyle's turn. Well, so many choices. I mean, really, the only choice is to just Harry carry. Mm-hmm. Is that is that the only choice? Yeah, it for, is for, this, for this gargoyle. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's funny because it's going to attack Sanishi a couple times. No, Harry, no. Harry, no. First, I'm gonna try and bite you with twenty six. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my reaction uh, to to give him a little bap on the no on the snoot. Okay. Well, you reaction. you boop the snoot. And then you take 11 piercing damage. Did you? I mean, what was it? He hit you with a what? Oh, 26. 27. Yeah. I can't, yeah. But he only hits me with 11. 11 damage. Did you go down? I did went go down. Uh, nope. She did go I'm down. Lying. I went down. Are you unconscious? unconscious? So does does one does evil unconscious? You're fine. Happen no. before or after that attack? I would say they would happen simultaneously. Okay. I do not believe you are going to be dropping the gargoyle with this one hit. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge <laughs> accepted. How do I get that face? I want that face as a yeah, hell right. <laughs> So, 19 to hit. 19 hit. I give him my ability to have 19 be a crit. You just give it to him? <laughs> 12 damage. <laughs> this is pretty good damage. Uh, it is good damage. It does not drop the gargoyle, though. So, it, the gargoyle turns around, and it takes a chunk out of Sinishi's shoulder. Like, it comes down, and it come, it, it's, uh, its mouth closes around her shoulder, and it comes She's out with a one. bunch of flesh. And yeah. has, She's has, still at one. Yeah, I didn't say killer. And as, as the gargoyle comes back, um, Icky actually takes both of his claws and like pops both sides of the gargoyle's head. And the gargoyle actually spits the flesh back out at Sanishi when Icky smashes its head. Did it go back? Can it go back no, and right face it Oh. Right in the face and she gets un- knocked out unconscious. All right. And with that, no, the gargoyle actually turns around and takes a claw attack at Icky. That is 19. Oh, Ty goes to the attacker. Nine, nine slashing damage. Oh. Second one is 25. Woof. For nine more slashing damage. That is an eight. No, I'm sorry. That is a 10. So that one does not hit. Oh, right. He's got four arms. He's got four arms. Mm-hmm. And that one's a 24 for nine more slashing damage. So, the the gargoyle, it takes two at a time in an X pattern that just slashes and gets you both and just cuts down your feathers. And then when it comes with the other one, you manage to get one of your arms up to kind of push one of them just far enough to where it misses you as the other one comes up from your hip to your shoulder. And that gargoyle's time is done. It puts its claw up on my hip. And it dips. <laughs> dip. my, and my health, it dips and dips. Alright, so then before your turn, Nikki, the Ascendant Surprise. Surprise! Is going to incinerate the web while he's in it. It is going to web cast. That would be kind of fun, actually. No, <laughs> that's not going to work. Yeah. No, that, oh, no, that's not going to work. All right. Um, it is going to cast Lightning Bolt again. Lightning Bolt. Lightning, lightning bolt. bolt. Lightning Bolt. Five feet wide. Ooh, I wonder if I can hit Grilda and Tarn. Not without moving. Uh, straight line. Five feet wide. Oh, well, that's... Ah, it moved. It moved. You missed. Yeah, but I, uh, you know, uh, 
You too. Oh my gosh, you guys have never heard of that one, have you? Love it. Um, long ago, uh, yeah. uh, I can't remember the guy's name. Go look up Boot to the Head. Right. Five feet wide. <laughs> oh, the that's head. the one. You've heard it. What if it angles Jerry right, it can't. Fireside Theater? Video. No. Who was it? Who did it originally? Jerry Lewis? I think. Oh, right, that's it. I don't know, but Google does. All right. So, yeah, I need Boot to the head. Tarnin and Grelda to both. Give me a dexterity saving throw. The frantics. That actually might be it. I'm it giving is. turn in plus five. Oh, thanks, with bro. My last flash of genius. He's, he's block attack, maybe? Wow, that, thank you. That might have helped. No. I rolled a 10. Plus a 15. Yeah. Turned into a 15? Correct. Yes. Oh, Alright. Grelda saves. Turn into not. Oh, fuck. That's a strong one. What is a. Alright, so. <laughs> she just want to give that to someone so bad, don't you? I just want to You're trying cards. to pimp those out. Alright. Nobody ever does. It's, it's time we use. Oh, them. ew! Ew! That's three ones in a row. And then a six. Those are, really right. Those are I, I like hearing that from you. Hey, Sean. Yes? Before you say anything about damage, if I had rolled a 19 instead, would that have saved? Yes. I'm burning the card. Good man. Increase AC or save by amount equal to your proficiency for an attack. So your proficiency is foul. Correct. All right. Plus so, yeah. so it was twenty-two. So both of you half that. It's half to eleven. Halves again. And then it halves again for for you, Grelda, yes. automatically. And if you want to use uncanny dodge, yes. So it yes. halves both of you for five lightning damage. Thank <laughs> 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 you. Chest hair stands up on end. <laughs> and Icky, it's your turn. I think, as a huge, just huge surprise to everybody, Icky's <laughs> gonna claw the fuck <laughs> out of this thing. Um, how do I can well, I right unusual. click an advantage? Yes, I can. Yes, that's you can. how do it. Ho 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 17, that hits. Well, 17, that hit. Seven, 26. 26. <laughs> 17 was the roll, the modifier. 26. It's, it hits. 26 does hit. Uh, and so does Gendrick's Firebolt. Sorry, I was just testing. <laughs> so, 9 damage? First hit, 9 damage. Uh, uh, roll. The the roll? Of the Vampouge. No, oh, something tells me. A <laughs> natural one. Uh, 24 though. That does hit. That'll work. Oh yeah, that looks good. That looks good. 12 more damage. Alright. Alright, so it is not dead. Alright. But you actually, like, you managed to, you put both your claws forward at the same time. You actually managed to dig into it, like, past the rocky exterior, and you actually feel flesh with the tips of your claws as you dig into its lower back. Ooh, Lord. Well, uh, I Icky's hungry for blood, so he's gonna uh, sing the second verse, which is very much uh, the same, same as, as the first. first. Uh, so first, second hit. First, uh, first second. 25. Twenty-five. That hits. Yay! Advantage. Thanks, Sinishi. Yep. Eleven damage on the first hit. Okay. Whoops. I'm just gonna. All right. So that's one roll there. Nineteen, which. Hits, but 19 hits. Shits and gigs. Uh, we're going to call that a 25 total. Um, oh, an 8 damage! Fucking max damage on that second hit. 13. 13? Alright, so as you pull your claws out of its lower back, one of them goes up to the back of its head, and you actually manage to get your claws like up into its neck, under its skull. And uh, you follow up by your other claw comes on the top. It 
digs in the top of its head, and you literally like Pez dispenser it back, and its neck just rips partway through, and its head just flops back, and the entire thing teeters and then falls into the wall and kind of slides down. Okay. Does candy can come pull? out? Yeah, I was gonna. Well, so to that point, I was gonna say, can I pull out a segment of spinal fish. column and eat it to gain its power? <laughs> no. Okay. But it might be delicious. Does the candy come out? Can <laughs> So, uh, so with that done, uh, Icky will. Um, oh, so as that as it, as the guy royal falls dead, uh, how, how how roughly how high is the ceiling above? above? Uh, in this room, it's forty okay, cool. feet, I think. So, point is, there's no reason Icky couldn't just like take to the air, use his full eighty movement speed, uh, eighty movement speed while flying. To uh, to basically just end up to uh, ten feet in front of Grelda, I know he could go further than that. I believe he could uh, he could get as close as fifteen feet from the front of the ascended. Oh, not in the straight line. Oh, right at all. More like there. Yeah. Oh, great! No, you're straight line. <laughs> Turner, this is fucking fantastic. Fuck. Go the other side. Look over there! I, I, I Look over there! Yeah, like ten more feet to uh, to the east, right? Make Tarnan happy. <laughs> All right. Look over there! Uh, Anything else we'd like to do? Um, Heal everybody. Okay, I guess like if 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 this is acceptable for uh, the amount of time I have left in my turn, I can just kind of like gesture back behind me to the rest of the party. Just be like, oh, this is the power you serve, and 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 that's that's the end of the turn. Blood, blood, blood in Icky's eyes. Blood, 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 blood or screamy scare face. Ah, <laughs> uh, Gralda, you are up. <laughs> okay, um, get this cam is down for me. Oh, oh no, they froze. Oh yeah, you you frozen, bro. I, I froze. I, I yeah. saw him bro. Everybody froze. No, we not froze. We no. not froze. I'm resetting mine. It's it come. It's come. It come. It come back. Hey. It come back. Tammy and Lars not froze. DM not froze. I'm not froze. Oh, I am froze. I'm refreshing. Kendra Cam. Okay. Okay. So while he refresh, what you do? Okay. What girl that do, Tam? Alright, okay, so, uh, just taking no one. Uh, Rogan's going to use the ascended, and she has 35 beads, so she should get there. Okay. For a second, I thought you said you have 35 beads, and I'm like, beads of what? And how does that help you move? Where did you get these <laughs> items, Grelda? Where were they stored? <laughs> I, I mean, anime rules. You never ask where anything's stored. <laughs> I didn't think that we had a bag of holding, but here we are. <laughs> Don't you ever call her a bag again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I mean, get a flask of holding. I have to pick up. Yes, I'm going to attack recklessly, mm. but, but I will use Sasha's magical ability to say this. Does, Does not, not get, get uh, uh, advantage against, against me. me. Okay. And then I will use my Master Attack to do magic extra stuff. Alright, go ahead. Alright, so advantage on Sasha. Roll. 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 Oh, ho, 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 ho. 28. 28 hits. Minus, well, minus 5. Minus 5, but yeah. Still hits. Okay. In nomine Patri, Sante Sacre. In nomine Patri, et file Spiritus Sante. Et file Spiritus Sante. Yes, so we have 12. I haven't watched it in so long. Um, plus 10 plus 3. There's no way I could watch you that movie. 25? 25? It was prayers. All right. All right, next Catholic. My mom was Catholic. Was she? Yeah. Oh. So she was like, why do you know those? It's on TV, mom. Come on. Because television violence? 
you know, Papa Francesco say you need a low a certain amount of uh, prayers. <laughs> Did you roll? Not yet. Nope. <laughs> Pause for five. five. Twenty-one hits. Very nice. Right. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Turn and store and he's done exactly zero. Plus ten, plus three. Twenty-four. Seven. All right. How would you like to kill him, Tammy? <laughs> is there anything in particular? Okay, right. Since this is a big one, I'm not going to just do this myself. Wait, what? If you would like in particular. Wait, what? It's exciting to know to Tammy, too. Ms. Does this guy have, like, five hit points total? Or I'll well, make those pitons to quite the number on him. Yeah. And he's, yeah. he's you, guys have, you guys have been slowly chipping away at him this entire battle. And he's in a web. Mm. That was the one that did it. Yeah, it's really the web that's yeah. That was his <laughs> ass in <laughs> place. <laughs> Damn it! Is there any way, and, and, and Sean, I just need to know if, I, if, I, if my character might know this. Is there any way I could leave him with one hit point for Tarnan to kill? Ooh. That sounds really dangerous mm-hmm. for a dude like this. Yeah, yeah, know. His turn is next. So uh, no, Medi- yeah, yeah. Medi- in, in <laughs> like gone. the Ascendant's turn is next. So if you left him alive, he would be able to act. Could I knock him unconscious? You can certainly. You can die. absolutely. You can absolutely do non-lethal damage, but you would be leaving him alive. Why is my my Why is my camera frozen? There we go. You you would be leaving him alive. You could absolutely choose to do non-lethal damage. Mm. Ooh, kill the bitch! <laughs> do another attack. I think Grella would not. She, she would if, if, if that was like a thing that could be done. She would really have to turn but if that's not a thing, she would just go ahead and kill it. Any, any in particular method you would like to use? Bite my shiny you know, metal axe! <laughs> The decapitation has been the sort of her thing, aside from the up from the groin, so let's go for just a straight decapitation. I'm Tron and Kepsgood, and I approve this message. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, as you walk up to the Ascended, you have Sasha on your shoulder, and your first attack, you come down crossing, and you go from his, like, his shoulder to his hip, and you actually split his purple robe open, <gasps> and blood is just coming down. And then you, you use that momentum and you swing across and you take off the hood along with his head and the mask and it just kind of, it flies up and spins and then falls, but doesn't hit the ground, it catches in the web that is just off the ground and it just kind of like bobs there for a second and then stops still and the body actually stays up for a decent amount of time. And then the body only one. begins the body begins to kind of tumble down and it crumples and then halfway down it actually stops. And then it slowly straightens back up. And then you hear like you see the uh, the chest breathe out and in and everybody hears uh oh like words in their mind along the same kind of lines as how they heard when the ascended talk but it's a completely different voice and everybody hears so these are the heroes of the age this is who is going to stand for Varicia. I think not. Come. Find me if you will. Every move to delay me has done nothing but strengthen me. I thank you for all the ogres and giants and even this poor wretch that you've dispatched. For the more powerful the creature, the more their soul strengthens me. So come, join me, or strengthen me yourself. But it's only a matter of time. Besides, 
I've seen the throne of the gods, and it's, it's empty. You should hope I succeed. And then the body falls to the ground. We have, well, with the exception of, of Gendrick, the party has heard an apparition of Kurzog speak before. Yes. Do we know this without a shadow of a doubt? Because yeah. context seems to indicate pretty yeah. strong. It is, it is the same voice okay. as the hologram cool. visage of Kurzog <laughs> that you heard before. I sat on. Yes. This time he did speak common. Yes. It is. It is, well, it is a voice that you all understood in your mind. So I won't say it's common, but everybody understood. Relmer still like, like she kicks his head and says, says "bitch." <laughs> I come running in from the hallway, see that the robe, that the ascended is dead, and go woo. Then notice that the robe has been like mutilated, and I won't be able to get it off and wear. I have my new costume, and I, I just like fall to my knees and just no. So. If Icky, likewise, uh, and which if Sanishi's had a chance to run in there and find, I've had my, I've, yeah, I've had I, my. Then I, so like Icky would get in there, and like, and goes immediately to that gold rod, and does everything he can to try to understand what it is. I think your people want that, Icky. There. All right, so this is like Icky. Icky almost like doesn't even care. At this point, that the so to identify a magic item takes sitting with it for an hour, just so you know. Right, but so like so, but there's nothing about it immediate. I can I can tell you it is a a smooth golden rod about eighteen inches long, um, cylindrical, mm -hmm. and just in a solid unbroken piece. Okay, it's apparently so, also magic. So if like if Icky. Gets to the body, gets to the rod, and in within 15, 25 really? seconds, that's all he can get. He would just he'd pick up the rod, look desperately to Gendrick, and just be and just be like, "What does this do?" All right, it is midnight, so I think that, if everybody's cool, I think that is a good place to stop. The Ascended is dead and decapitated. Icky has the rod and is holding it out to Gendrick, and we will continue next time. Hey, but I still need to know Tarnan's reaction. Oh, Tarnan, if you no, want to... No, I mean, you are... Everyone's going before Tarnan. No one knows what's going on with Tarnan, and we're ending the game. That's cool. We'll do that. Mm -hmm. No problem. <laughs> I'm... I'm sorry, Icky mm -hmm. has higher priorities right now. <laughs> it's all good. If Tarnan would like to describe his immediate reaction to the decapitation of the Ascendant, uh, he is more than welcome to. The immediate, really decapitation. To know. the immediate decapitation, there's a smile, and then the voice happens, and he immediately calls out to Obi and says, Can you destroy this guy's soul? Can you? What? What is your cost? What do I need to give you to make sure that this soul does not empower wherever his master is? Is there an answer? You hear... You get the feeling that while nothing can stop Kurzog from gaining power from a soul that has been marked with the Sahedrin, you feel a calm whenever you think about the Ascended's soul eternally suffering. You know where his soul is going, but you know that there, because of the power of Kurzog and the power of the Sahedrin, there's nothing that can be done to stop Kurzog from gaining the power of the soul. Is everyone willing to risk 15 minutes more if we go into this play? 
For RP, yes. Yes. Yeah, this yeah. Is for RP. I'm game. Okay. okay. That being the feeling that he gets, Tarn and paused, determines, and he says fairly loud, but not yelling, that's not enough, and charges the body. Um, getting to the body, <laughs> he uh, attempts to uh, revive it. Without a head? So the How? Never mind. Are, no, I'm, are you trying to like stabilize it? I mean, because I, I know we I know we had talked about before the um, the three have the three the hit uh, yeah. like yeah that does that's the three right. death saves right. and death fails that's doesn't right. apply oh, to NPCs to yeah. <sighs> so if you had a rev, like a revivify or I mean if you had something that could actually recall a soul from the dead not. Stabilize a dying. Let me consult uh, Tarnan's chaotic nature. I mean, maybe we could reaffix the guy's head with not duct tape, but our coker tape. tape. <laughs> I love you so much. Man. I love you so much. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> um, in frustration, Tarnan begins to mutilate what's left of this body. It'll never be enough. He says out loud, quite loudly, almost yelling. And... Anyone who's paying attention close at this point sees him nearly slice his own throat before dropping the dagger in his hand, dropping to his knees. And now he's in front of this mutilated body that is it's just like torn apart, dagger marks everywhere, his hands got involved... He, I mean, just, I don't want to get into it because it's late and, and, and I don't want to wake anybody. <laughs> he goes off for a good five, six seconds before he's, he almost cuts his own throat. The knife falls out of his hand and he collapses on his knees um, or leans forward even farther and says, it's finished. What am I? Could you be a tailor and fix those rents in the Ooh. cloak you just made? <laughs> he doesn't even hear you. That's okay. Sneeze, you should be. Uh, had had rush 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 forward forward whenever he started. started doing doing well, that's fair because you're right there. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm right, right there. there. So, so she did let him, him do, do what he needs to do to his body, body, but like. like she, she might have been, been one of the people, people that maybe deflected the, the attack on his own throat, throat and just, just has a comforting, comforting hand, hand on his shoulder for the remainder. It's a beautiful cloak. <laughs> so as a point of role play for future Tarnan's actions, does anyone respond to him when he asks... What am I? Who am I now? Well, I, I see you're Taylor and your name is Tarnan. You could be a Taylor. And your name is Tarnan. And you're my leader. What does she say? That. Okay. You could be a Taylor. Fix the rents you just made in the cloak, the beautiful cloak. I like the purple color. Hmm. I think the purple would go great with my green skin. Let me play with some chaos for a second. Hmm. You just imagine that purple with my green skin, it would be so lovely. Yeah, it would be really good. The important things. That's a good point. I have, uh, I definitely have a tool for the job, put it that way. <laughs> Literally. Probably no. Probably yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it says, you're one of us, you're our family. And then, and then she, she like, like grips, grips the shoulder, shoulder more, more like, 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 like tightly. tightly. And oh, amidst all of this, I guess like Icky would break just enough, like still like holding the rod and just be like, like gripping it, just like tighter and tighter. Looks over at Tara's like, we still have things to do. We still have things to protect.
still just like looking pretty f- what like it, it, it is like almost looking more frenzied now than before than, than during the fight gotcha um That's it. That's okay. That we can, we can so talk let's just leave real. it. We'll just leave it here, and everyone can come up with their own suggestions or ideas, and we'll just like play the last five seconds later. That's fine. Okay. Cool. I've got. I just want to say. Hmm? Um, your head, Tony. Is the word family. And above, and above me, your, your head, head is, is the word home. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> you planned this, you, you sick, <laughs> sick man. Sure. What I did. Well, um, I'm, I'm sorry, Lily. Like, what, what was uh, Gendrick uh, um, saying, like, right before the end? Gendrick was just going to affirm that he can indeed repair the cloak. As long Ooh. as the holes in it are no longer than one foot. Well, I, mean, which, I don't think Karen was really worried about how big the holes were, as long as there was no body left in it. In yeah. It, so. so, I just, as, as everybody departs, I just want to read off a couple of things. Icky is at 15 hit points. Yeah. Grelda is at 23. Gendrick is at 7. Tarnan is at 13. And Sanishi is at 1. Geisen is leading the pack with 45. Just so everybody knows how close everybody else was oh, no. to drop. New head cannon, Geisen new tank. 